there are some of you that all your earnings have finished in drugs or treatments you see it's another dimension of the manifestation of the devourer because when your health is disturbed no amount becomes too much to keep your life and 10 million naira can finish in one month because of a devil masquerading in your body so it's not only healing you are going to receive there must be restoration do you believe that restoration 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 now there are those who are not sick in terms of infirmity but they are diseased they lie down and they cannot sleep the trouble that is on you is heavier than the bed you are lying down on and it's as if the bed is on you you wake up tired more tired than you because there's trouble their school fees, your children abroad, you are thinking of taking care of them, the ones here, all kinds of trouble, maybe the rate housing has increased. No, a miracle service is a convergence where God brings his people and allows them to collide with his transforming power, with his miracle working power. There is a consolation to the believer's Christian experience that God can arise and he can visit men and with visitations come redemption. Hallelujah. Gentlemen, I announce to you that this is a miracle service where God will raise you from the dust of shame. Finally, in the name of Jesus Christ, raise you from the dust of shame and decorate your life like Pharaoh did that of Joseph. You believe that? Shout a loud amen. amen. Hallelujah. I hope you know that the garment, shame and despair can be worn like a garment. Is it in your Bible? that a man can wear it the same way I cannot look at someone dressed on suit and say you're wearing traditionals. No. A man can wear the garment of shame and walk with it. Walk with it to your place of work. Walk with it to... And several people who should help you just ignore you. You don't know what they are seeing. They don't know what they are seeing. But the results of rejection is clear. Can I tell you, psychologists teach us that rejection is the worst thing that can happen to a man from a psychological standpoint. To be rejected means to be given a clear message that you are not needed within a system, you are not needed within your workplace. That is, that is where people try to pretend so that they belong. But there's something God can place on your head that when he places it on your head, even from the prison, the king can send for you and bring you out of any dungeon. I hope you believe what I'm telling you. Listen, let me say this one last, one last encouragement and then we'll pray. Always be conscious of the fact that spiritual forces have dominion and exact dominion over the physical. Men, even science has agreed with religion and spirituality that no man walks alone. You see a man alone, but there are forces we carry. Is that true? A man can walk alone. If you met the madman in Gadara and he came and met you and just shook your hand, you would believe you were shaking one man, not knowing you were shaking a legion. The same way you can see one man and believe you are shaking one man, you just, you will know that you shook hand with speed, you shook hand with favor, you shook hand with breakthrough, you shook hand with elevation. It is true. Graces are trapped in men. It is your responsibility tonight to scan through your life and see what is not working and pray and insist that in the name of Jesus it must begin to work. This is why I came here. Lord, I'm tired of this shame and reproach over my family, my loved ones. Why is it that good things keep happening on, until we show up and then the narrative just changes? There is a way out. I don't know what the way is, but I know there is a way out. And then you engage by faith. Are you ready to pray? will take two or three minutes to pray. I want you to release your faith sincerely. God brought us to this miracle service to see to it that we return with strange manifestations of his power. Lift your voice in one minute everywhere. Whether you are outside, whether you are inside, all the overflows, go ahead and begin to pray. Indeed, it is my night. God is giving me a story. Shalika parakos sobrandekebeleketash keprattekabarekas kotebeleketash this disease, this infirmity is living finally. Someone pray. This embargo of shame and reproach, backwardness, retrogression is giving way in the name of Jesus. 
take a minute to release your faith it's time for gates to be open it's time for doors to be open time for new chapters to be open Make sure you are praying, engaged by faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me give you one more prayer point. If you are not interested, don't pray it. You can pray the rest. You are going to declare that every spirit that keeps me or anybody around me poor, unlimited begging and in servitude in the name of Jesus I curse it by the spirit open your mouth and pray pray with understanding pray with understanding pray with understanding pray with understanding many things in our lives are connected to our economic empowerment many things in our lives will make progress when economic empowerment is at work in us open your mouth and pray Go ahead and pray. My life will soon reveal You're the lifter of men Lifter of men I will hold on to the storm And I will hold on to your world My life will soon reveal You're the lifter of men Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. Hear me. Tonight, there are three things I want you to fight by faith. Number one is sickness and any kind of bodily limitation. Number two, smallness in life and destiny. This is, you know the purpose of influence. So I'm not afraid to teach you and release grace upon you. For as long as you remain small, you will be weak and there are many things you will not be able to do for the kingdom. Smallness is a curse. Let me tell you straight to the point. Do not let anything and anyone massage you into believing that a life of smallness is a blessing. There is greatness without vision. That is also a foolish template for living. But in the presence of vision and understanding, there is no limit to what greatness and influence can do in your life. And then number three, poverty. Do you know that many things in your life will be impeded when you are economically handicapped? That is the truth. There's a song that is in my spirit. Yesu kaine haskena In the kabihan and zambi Yesu kaine in the Caribbean, one more time. The light of the When the Magi followed the light, they did not miss their way. It took them straight to where Jesus was. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a light that when you follow, you will look like you will not get there. But one step a day, one step a moment, you will find yourself evolving into an enviable destiny. A praise to God and a praise to the nations. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Now hear me. Hear me. I want to pray. Please listen to this instruction. I've told you that faith is connected to obedience. And I want you to listen to me. Please listen to me. I want to pray for the sick now. I sense a very strong anointing. I want to pray for the sick. But the Lord is revealing to me that there are people here. You achieve things, but they never last. It's not like you don't start. You will start and make progress, but there is a spirit that must bring you back. No, You saw it with your parents. Some of you are experiencing it now. You've had jobs. So it's not like you are unemployed, but there is absolutely nothing to write home about. As I pray for the sick, I'm going to pray for those people. I want you to bring them out because the power of God is coming on those people and on those families. I want to pray. As soon as that song was raised, that's what the Lord began to minister to me in my heart. And then I'll pray for the sick. We'll take testimonies now. Ah, there is a light that is coming here tonight. In the name of Jesus, everyone, paros kadibada. Please bring them out very quickly. We have a lot to do tonight. I stretch my hands and I decree and declare that every family and every individual that goes up only to come down, goes up only to come down. There is no longevity in impact. I decree and declare right now, be delivered this moment. Bring them out. Be delivered this moment. 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 My goodness, fire is falling in this place. Be delivered this moment. Yeah, yes, okay, ne haske na. In the cabin, behind the guns of me. Yeah, yes, okay, yeah, yes, okay, ne haske. Bring them up. In the cabin, in the cabin, behind the guns of me. One more time. Yeah, yes, okay, ne haske. I'm still praying in the name of Jesus rising and going down by the Spirit of the Living God whether it's for you or for your loved ones I stretch my hands now that fire let it bring a separation between you and that spirit forever 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 be separated now and separated forever in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah a strong healing anointing is moving in this place right now strong healing anointing I'm hearing blood diseases blood diseases blood diseases Salika Parako Satebalende Gebos Chakras Kadebala Sudyash. There's someone, fire will begin to burn your entire body from your feet down to your head. There is healing that God is bringing to you right now. Everything that is not of God. Lay your hands. I want to pray for the sick now. Help that man. Hallelujah. Lay your hands. I want to pray. Listen, as soon as I pray for you, miracles are already happening. The power of God will touch you right where you are. I want you to check yourself and make your way to the front right now. Right now. For those, as soon as I pray for you, a miracle is happening. Check yourself. The moment you find out you are healed, make your way to the front in the name of Jesus Christ. The first that I'm seeing in my vision here, there is somebody you feel like something is being pierced through your neck to your spine. I don't know who that person is, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, please play the strings for me. In the name of Jesus, may the hand of God rest upon you now. Help them please. May the hand of God rest upon you now. Every demonic headache masquerading as anything, recurrent headache, I decree and declare, be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. 
any eye condition, total blindness, partial blindness, I stretch my hands right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, begin to see now. Begin to see now. There, there are people who cannot move their legs. I don't know if it's whatever pain. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is resting upon you. Begin to check yourself now and do what you could not do in the name of Jesus. Now hear me. All kinds of pains are about to leave. You will know because you will check the pain and it will be gone completely. I stretch my hands. Pain goes now. Pain goes now. Help them please. Pain goes now. Pain goes now. Pain goes now. Back pain be healed now. Shoulder pain be healed now. Neck pain move your neck now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. There is someone being healed of goita. Goita in the name of Jesus. May the power of God rest upon you. I bring you healing and I bring you life. Healing and life. Someone with a heart condition. I curse that spirit right now and I release you. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. The Lord is showing me someone you, you are not able to sit down. I don't know if it's pile or some boil or just, just swelling in the name of Jesus Christ. As I pray for you now, you're going to feel the fire of God rest upon you and that devil will leave you now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Now, whether I mention your case or not, I'm seeing someone kidney problem. You're having kidney problems. If I don't pray for that person, I'm seeing that you will die. In the name of Jesus, whether you are here or connecting from any hospital, may the Lord raise you from the, de the bed of, of languishing. In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed from that kidney condition. You could not bend. Every time you bend, there is severe pain. In the name of Jesus, I'm praying for you. Let that pain disappear now. Let that pain disappear now. The Lord is showing me someone, your toes. You have a problem. I don't know what problem it is. Your toes, it looks like um, it's getting hard. I don't know what the medical condition is. But I know that it's affecting your toes. The power of God is touching you right now. Wherever you are, in the name of Jesus Christ. The power of God is touching you right now. Wherever you are, in the name of Jesus. There is a lady and a gentleman. Two of them will shout now under the anointing. The Lord is healing someone connected to your family. This is in the name of Jesus. I know everybody, but there are two people the Lord is revealing to me. And I decree and declare, whoever that person is, let a visitation come for you. Come for your family members. In the name of Jesus. There's someone, there are particular foods you cannot eat. When you eat them, you start throwing up and you will even be sick. God is revealing this to me. Now, I, I'm not a doctor. I will not advise you as against medical advice, but all I know is that anything that is related to the devil must leave you now. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is showing me a woman's husband. This is your husband. I'm seeing a situation affecting his mobility. He's unable to move. He's beginning to affect his leg. It looks like arthritis in the name that is above all names whether you are here represented or so anywhere across the overflows or online i who is rachel rachel come your time has come oh, your season has come For you the Lord is visiting the family of Rachel and the Lord is saying he's taking away arrows of witchcraft this is what I'm saying I decree and declare be delivered now now 
by the spirit of the living God may the hand of God I stretch my hands every spirit of witchcraft around the family of Rachel be delivered now be delivered now what he says to one he says to all be delivered now in the name of Jesus Christ Is there someone with the name Livinus? I'm hearing the name Livinus. Is it Lavinus or Livinus? Somebody, Livinus. The Lord is bringing deliverance to that family. Livinus or Lavinus, whether you are here or following online, I want to pray for you. I'm seeing someone in this row. I just saw light. Someone in this row. The hand of God is coming on that person right now. There are two men of God. I'm seeing a chapter close in your ministry and another one being open. The fire of God is coming on you now. Two men of God. I don't know where you are, whether you are here or scattered around. Father, I pray that you locate these men and open a new chapter in life and ministry for them. In the name of Jesus, open a new chapter in life and ministry for them by the power of the Holy Ghost multiplied visions this is what I'm hearing multiplied visions there are men that are coming into this realm where God is opening your eyes multiplied visions receive that grace right now multiplied visions accuracy in your perception in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah is there someone here with the name Godia I'm hearing the name Godia that should be a, maybe most likely someone from the north Godia, please we have a lot to do make sure that Godia if if you are outside of this place no problem let me just know I want to speak I heard that name Godia in the name of Jesus every manifestation of spe the spirit of death is there someone with the name AGK AGK I believe that that most likely is an evil name AGK who is that the Lord is saying, I should tell you, you are entering your season of reward. A season of reward. AGK, who is AGK? Okay, you, sir. You are entering your season of reward. You are entering your season of reward. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, may my God visit you. May my God visit you. I'm still seeing another AGK that the Lord is revealing to me. AGK, that's the, is that his name? Verified. Is that your name, my friend? Huh? What's your name? What do you do? I'm a civil engineer. You're a civil engineer? Yes, sir. I need to pray for you. There is somebody who does furnitures. I see the hand of God coming on you. You are about to explode. There is a supernatural grace that is coming on your business. This is what the Lord is revealing to me. Who do, you do furnitures, furnitures. Yes, sir. You make it or you sell it. I make furniture. You make furniture. Yes, Lift sir. your hands. Yes, sir. Something is about to shift in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Let there be a supernatural manifestation of grace. A supernatural manifestation of grace. The Lord is showing me someone. You are a lawyer, but you have never been employed. This is what I'm seeing. There is a spirit of shame. It's not just you, your family members. The Lord wants to change that. Who is that person? Don't tell lies. Make sure that you are, you are a child of God. You? Is she a lawyer? Practicing lawyer? Yes, sir. I'm in private practice. You've never, never been, employed. been employed. Yes, sir. How long have you been practicing? 15 years. Yeah, yes, haskena. Madam, are you a lawyer? Hold on, hold the woman. Take it easy, madam. For 16 years, I'm for how many years? For 16 years, I've not been employed. It's okay, it's, don't worry. You are 20 years. Gone. Just believe. I don't know you, madam. You, how many years? 20 years. Where are you from? I'm from Benway. Because there is a spirit. I need to pray for you. This thing has tied everybody in your family. And it kills the men in your family. 
I want to pray for you. You see, evil is real. Oh. I'm praying for someone here. In the, everything that is masquerading itself around your family, as I'm praying for these ones, may that grace rest upon you now. All of you in front here, right now, be delivered now. I release you now. Every plague of witchcraft over your life, let it be broken now. Over your career, let it be broken now. 20 years. Look at this woman. No nothing. Now, you, you watch in a moment, ladies and gentlemen, these same people will return back here and they will tell you doors have just opened just like that. That is what the power of God can do. Hallelujah. Check your neck. There's someone... I don't know what was wrong with your neck, but I want you to check it now. A miracle has happened. I will soon ask those who, are, who have been healed to come out, but something just happened in my spirit. Mildred. I'm hearing the name Mildred. Mildred. Who is Mildred? Mildred. In the name of Jesus, wherever that person is. Mildred. Now, the Lord is showing me a very unique case to pray for a family. When people marry in that family, they must die. This is what I'm saying. When they marry, one of the spouse must die within the shortest time. It doesn't matter whether it's the man or the woman. There is someone who belongs to that family. Where are you? Come. One of these families is a Southern Kaduna family. Yes. I want, yes. Where are you from? Yes. I'm from Southern Kaduna. Sir. Southern Kaduna. Yes, Stand here. I want to pray for you. Yes, sir. Southern Kaduna, I'm seeing this family. There is witchcraft that sits on the destinies of people. And if one person ever rises, that person must die. Something must kill that person. And so you find out that all the great people, people who would have risen, is like something just brings them down. I want to pray for you. I'm not a prophet of doom. My assignment is to bring light and liberty in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, right from the foundation of this family, let evil and witchcraft give way now. Let evil and witchcraft give way now. Let evil and witchcraft give way now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let evil and witchcraft give way now. Hallelujah. Now, I don't want you to come out. I'll just mention the case because the Lord revealed it to me and I'll pray for you. There is a family, the ladies in those families, there is a spirit of prostitution on that family. Almost all of them. Don't come out just for social reasons so you are not embarrassed. But I want to pray because I'm seeing five ladies and every one of them is practicing one kind of prostitution or the other. It's like the spirit insists that is the only way that you must eat. Either some man somewhere or something somewhere and they are sincere people but it's a spirit. This thing I'm seeing by revelation that is started right from their mother. I don't know where that family is represented, but I cry unto the God of heaven, the one who shows men mercy. That yoke that they may not even understand, that is responsible for this level of decadence in their family. Let it be broken now. Let it be broken now. The Lord is asking me to pray for someone. There is a plague of sickness in your family. You are twins. You are twins. You are twins. You are twins. This is what the Lord is asking me. The, the Lord is asking me to pray and break that yoke. You are twins. Where are you come? You are a twin, sir. From where, sir? From where? Southern I want to pray for you. The other twin is the twin here? No, he said. But I want to pray for you because I'm seeing something relating to your blood. I have to pray. Uh, this is like a blood condition yeah. that. Twin, so. Did you hear what I said? Are you a twin? Yes, sir. Uh, where are you from? 
from Abia State. I need to pray for you. Leave her now. I command that spirit to go. As soon as this lady came, I just saw serpents like that. In the name of Jesus Christ, let this lady be delivered forever. Forever. I'm seeing the name of a family and I'm seeing the ground being opened and the names put in and covered. I don't know who did this, but this is what God is showing me. In the name of Jesus Christ, any family here whose destiny has been trapped, listen, oh, I'm praying, whether you know it or not, right now, fire is going to come upon that person. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Let the grave release your destiny. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you reveal to me that there are twins. What do you do, sir? Please don't be embarrassed. Yes. I'm a medical practitioner. You're a medical practitioner? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Yes, sir. Father, I pray for these people here. Lord, you reveal to redeem. Please make sure you, the ones coming out, why are you coming out? Twins? Huh? He has blood condition. They are twins. He has the Your blood children? Condition. Yes, sir. Who and who? Two of, them. Two of them. This one has blood, blood condition. Co what, what's the condition? Bleeding disorder. It's called hemophilia. Bleeding disorder. He lost a finger because of it. He lost one finger. Yes. How old is he? He will five next oh month. Oh my God. I want to pray for you. Please believe. When God visits people, it's for redemption. I stretch my hands right now. You have anointed us, O oh God, to be extensions of your power. Therefore, I decree and declare that everything that is happening to any twin here represented, right from the foundation till this day, I decree right now. I'm seeing fire resting on you people. In the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Let that fire rest upon you. Be delivered now. In the name of Jesus, even for the kids, I decree and declare, let this blood condition come to an end now. Let this condition come to an end now. Hallelujah. You are the only person alive in your family, among your siblings. They are all dead. Who is that person? The Lord just showed me a vision. I need to pray for you. Please don't be embarrassed when God, I hope I'm not wasting your time. Where is the person? Please rush. The only person alive? Where are you from? Are you from Anambra State? Where are you from? Huh? And I'm rested. All your siblings have died. Nine, eight of them died. Eight of them have died. Yes, you are the only one. Yes, you see, but listen, ladies and gentlemen, until God trusts you with power and the grace to see, you may never know what people go through. How many of you were born? Nine of us. And how, you are the only one left. Eight have died. How many of you? Four. And all of them are gone, only you. Let me pray for you. I believe in Jesus and I act as he reveals to me. How do you have nine people and eight people will die? How can that be the will of God? I hope as I'm praying for them, you are connecting too. Because that is the purpose of faith. Are we together? Lord Jesus, we stretch our hands as a family of faith. Ah! One of you right now, the power of God is coming on you. I just saw a vision and the Lord is telling me that if, if you were not prayed for, this would have been the same case with you before the end of the year because this is a spirit. Hallelujah. I'm not a prophet of doom, but I want, I want to pray for you. You see, the truth is that curses are real. The power of God can set men free, but causes are real. Hallelujah. I just heard it's like two people were quarreling. And this is what I just heard in my spirit. Didn't see a vision, but I heard. And all I heard is it will not be well with you. This is what I heard. This is like a conversation between two women. And somebody is standing and saying it will not be well with you. This was said to a family. Come and stand here. There is a family that somebody told you that. Who told you that? colleague no this, anyway i'll pray for you but this is not what i'm talking about but you don't have to be 
on, you see, number one is fear God. Number two, treat people with respect. There are, there's what we call self-inflicted causes. And it comes because people get angry and, Madam, where are you coming from? You're an international visitor? Yes. From? California. From? California. California. Yes. Okay, I'm going to pray for you. I'll pray for you too, my dear. The scourging tongues of men is what Job said will be delivered from. Let me pray for these our dear ones going through this demonic thing about death. In the name of Jesus, for every arrow of death that has been deposited in these lives and these families, no matter how many of them have gone, for your sake, in the name of Jesus, may God restore the name and the dignity of these families. May God use you to restore the name and the dignity of these families. In the name of Jesus Christ. And every legal access that the spirit of death has over you and over this family, we declare, let the blood speak now. Let the blood speak now. Let the blood speak now. In the name of Jesus. Let the blood speak now. And for anyone who is a victim of the ill speakings of men, that someone stood and opened their mouth, whether it's a curse causeless or a curse with a cause, I declare, let the blood speak for you now. 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 There's someone you've been having pains at your right side or so, I'm not a doctor, but I'm hearing appendicitis. I need to pray for you. In, I believe that most times it's a surgical procedure that manages that, that situation. We have a number of doctors here. In the name of Jesus, I'm going to pray. Once we pray, you can, you can, we'll, we'll give a few minutes for the testimonies before. I've not done the deliverance session proper. I'm about to do it now. No, it's no devil will escape the word of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, where are you from? This fair lady looking at me. States. Don't be embarrassed there, eh? but I need to pray for you. I'm seeing a spirit of bad luck. Yes. Huh? Yes. That people just, people hate you, yes. people reject you, yes. people fight you, yes. and they give meaning to you, something that is not. Yes. And there are many people who have that kind of thing. Anybody who is being perceived wrongly in the name of Jesus, that veil that is making men to treat you as the person you are not by the power that raised Christ from the dead I tear off that veil now I tear off that veil now I tear off that veil now what's that restore song? sing it for me restore Everything that was lost, restore. Everything that was stolen, restore. Everything that was lost, restore. You will restore. There is a man, I will not advise that you come out, but I'm seeing the number 59 million. You lost 59 million. I don't know if it was in an investment or whatever it is. But that's why I raised that song for you. Because the Lord is saying he wants to restore you. I'm, I'm using that man as a point of contact. Anyone who has lost anyone, Naira, I don't care for no matter how long. By the power that raised, if you believe in the prophetic, then I'm speaking to you. Between now and the next three months, in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, let there be supernatural restoration. Let there be supernatural restoration. You will be surprised to see what God will do. Don't doubt. I declare restoration. First for the man God revealed to me. And then for anyone who is in that condition. May my God restore you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You can return to your seats rejoicing. Return to your seats rejoicing. Return to your seats rejoicing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want to minister deliverance to the captives. Hmm. As you are standing here, connect your family to yourself by faith. So that what is happening to you, you are releasing your faith that is also happening to them. It is as for me and my house. Me and my house. At the count of three, 
I'm going to ask you to shout the name Jesus. And once you shout that name Jesus, please hear me. Whether you are an elderly person, a young person, male, female, within this ground, or across the nations of the earth, the power of God to deliver, to separate you from any spirit that is back of the tragedies that you have been experiencing, that power is about to be released, and I want you to believe it. Please believe it. Please believe it negative dreams wicked dreams seeing things that you are not supposed to see with dead people in primary schools in secondary schools writing exams that don't finish it doesn't matter in what way i decree and declare now at the count of three fire is falling let's have them come out so i minister to them are you ready father honor your word one two three shout jesus be delivered now be delivered now I break those yokes I break those yokes bring them out I break those yokes by the power of the Holy Spirit women be delivered men be delivered firstborns be delivered families be delivered Easternans be delivered Westernans be delivered Middle Beltans be delivered, Northerners be delivered, every familiar spirit roaming around your family and your destiny. We declare, let the fire of the Holy Ghost rest upon your family now. Bring them out. I decree and declare that every manifestation of evil around any family here represented, affecting women, affecting men, affecting fertility affecting productivity right now may the hand of god rest upon you may the hand of god rest upon you may the hand of god rest upon you the lord is showing me chains in people's hands that are being broken right now the power of god is coming upon such people I'm seeing the number 11 in the name of Jesus, wherever you are, whether within this auditorium, the balcony, anywhere across, in the name of Jesus, let that chain be broken now. Let that chain be broken now. Let that chain be broken now. Hallelujah. Gift. Who is gift? I just had the name gift. G-I-F-T. Gift. Your name is Gift? Gift. There is a door that is closed. And I'm seeing a hand trying to open that door. And the Lord is saying he wants to open the door of your destiny. Gift. This is what I'm hearing. Father, honor your word. Right now I stretch my hands over gift, whether here or anyone. Whatever is responsible for this closed door, let that door be opened now. Let that door be open now. Let that door be open now. Let that door be open now. Self-inflicted curses that close these doors by the blood of the eternal covenant be open now in the name of Jesus. Let that door be open now. Over gift, whether you or your family, in the name of Jesus, may the God of all grace swing those doors open now. Hallelujah. There are three people in the crowd, the congregation. The Lord is telling me that I should pray for you. You are the brain behind many things. But every time it's time to be rewarded, you are exchanged. There is a spirit that always makes that the, the honor that should come to you for your sacrifice. You are never truly seen. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing the number three. I don't know who that person is. Whatever makes a replacement, whenever honor comes, it's like you are being replaced and the wrong people are lifted inside of you. In Jesus' name, someone is by the pillar. I'm seeing an anointing by the pillar. There is someone, you are one of them. The hand of God is upon you. May that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now that puts you in your rightful place in life and destiny in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah 
I'm seeing in a vision the name UN and the Lord is saying someone is going to get a job UN United Nations now you will come and testify here I prophesy it in the name of Jesus God who revealed it may he put it in your hands I say it again God who revealed it I'm seeing UN the logo of UN United Nations may God no matter where you are may God use people to connect you to it in the name of Jesus my dear, look at me, this lady. Release this family now. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare, for those of you who are in front here, you are delivered now. Please, those who are up, make sure they don't fall down. So if they are under the anointing, just guide them. In the name of Jesus, you are delivered now. You are delivered forever. In Jesus' name. 13 years, no promotion. One, three, 13 years, you've not been promoted. The Lord is showing me an individual in a vision for 13 years, you've not been promoted. And the Lord is saying, I should speak to you. I want to speak to you by the Spirit. Listen, when you hear prophetic words come like this, don't downplay them. A lot happens in the realm of the Spirit when a word is released. Are we together now? There are angels that excel in strength and their assignment is to sit with. That's why you see people come to testify and they will tell you this one happened, this one happened. Don't be an unbeliever. 13 years, you have not been promoted. I want to pray for you. Father, look upon whoever this person is. Is this the lady? This is not the person I'm seeing, but I will still pray for you. In the name of Jesus, 13 years, no promotion. Father, honor your word. For this individual, using this one in front as a point of contact, I decree and declare that not only will you be promoted, may God restore you. May God restore you. May God restore you. In the name of Jesus Christ, may God restore you. I'm hearing the name tuberculosis. In the name of Jesus, one of your loved ones has tuberculosis. And the Lord is telling me he wants to heal that person tuberculosis. I'm even seeing that the person coughs out blood sometimes. And, you know, chunks of blood comes out. I'm hearing tuberculosis. In the name of Jesus, anyone here on ground or scattered across suffering from tuberculosis, I declare be healed now. Now, all those who are connecting from any hospital, or those here trusting God for healing, lay your hands now very quickly where you are trusting God for a miracle. I have taught you that faith demands, the power of God demands that you engage. If it's your eyes, lay your hands there, expecting to be healed. If it's your ears, lay your hands there. If it's your neck, if it's a part of your body that is sensitive, just lay your hand on your chest as a point of contact. By the way, you can stand for someone. You don't have to be the one who is sick. You can stand in for someone releasing your faith. I want to pray. Here's what will happen. As soon as I pray and make declarations, already there are many people that the power of God has touched. I will pray for you. doesn't matter what the situation is. I don't have to call it. I want you to believe by faith. Check yourself. The moment you see that a miracle has happened, very quickly, I want you to leave your seat and come to the front, either by my left or my right. I want to seal your miracle as we take a few testimonies, and then I will share with you something, and then begin to pray over... Um, the various issues in your life that are not related to sickness, but I want to pray for the sick now. Please lay your hands. Believe. I sing praises to your name. Oh God, praises to your name. Oh God, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. There is a man, immediately I'm seeing your case. Um, what you have is a situation of infertility that is peculiar to men you have had this for a long time in the name of Jesus the Lord is healing you now Amen. the Lord is bringing restoration now Amen. now I decree and declare anyone who is sick here in your body in this auditorium all the overflows those connecting stretch your hands in the name of Jesus, for those who are outside of this auditorium, you can stretch your hands by faith. I decree and I declare now, let the healing power of Jesus coming like rain, coming like fire, let it rest upon the various parts of your body and I declare instant miracles now. Instant miracles now. Blind eyes be opened now. 
hearing problems, deaf ears be open now. Any part of your body you could not move, in Jesus' name I command it to begin to move. There's someone you came here with severe breathing problems. In the name of Jesus, as I pray, begin to breathe. You find out that there's freedom, there's liberty, you are able to breathe normally. Peptic ulcer be healed now. Hallelujah. I don't know, I'm not a medical doctor. I don't know if there is a relationship between hepatitis and yellow eyes. I just saw a vision. I saw somebody whose eyes is yellow and I'm seeing hepatitis in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know who that person is. Right now, the healing power of Jesus is touching you. The healing power of Jesus is touching you. In the name of Jesus. There is someone, you have something called um, a urinary infection. You can go, it embarrasses you sometimes if you don't rush to the bathroom, you can ease yourself even before you get to the bathroom. This is, I don't, I, I believe that this is some medical condition wherever you are. In the name of Jesus, now I am praying for you. Let that demonic sickness that has brought you embarrassment, let it leave you now. In the name of Jesus. There's someone when you go to ease yourself, you are also stooling blood. It looks like pile. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command that devil of pile be free from it this moment be free from it this moment hallelujah someone you are having problem with your teeth one by one they are being pulled out it looks like they are weakening this is what the Lord is showing me it's like the entire your entire um, you know your teeth is is fragile and they've pulled out some but this is something like a cavity problem that is affecting you completely. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are, I decree and declare the power of God is touching you this moment. Be healed in Jesus' name. There's someone you have your, the right part of your breast. There's some growth. You, you started sensing that there's some lump or so growing. I'm praying for you. In Jesus' name, this moment as I speak, that satanic lump disappears from your body. Hallelujah. That's what we call muzzle pull. So you have around your limb area here just a discomfort that affects you. It happened to a gentleman and from that day you have not recovered. You are able to walk but not without pain, especially on your right side. In the name of Jesus, the Holy Spirit is bringing you life and healing right now. You were sleeping and you felt like they drew your hair. It's like somebody pulled your hair and from that time you've started losing your hair. In Jesus' name, I'm praying for you. The person I'm seeing is like you are wearing something like pink, like baby pink. This is what God is showing me. In the name of Jesus, be healed this moment. Let the power of God rest upon you now. And then for some of you, you have sicknesses that has not been diagnosed medically, but you know you are not all right. You just know you can go, they check through the machines and you are fine as much as the doctors tell you, but you know that it's like you are dying slowly. Wherever you are, in the name that is above all names, I'm declaring to you right now, be healed. Supernatural healing in Jesus' name. You slept on one side of the bed and you woke up with pain, severe pain around your neck, just right here. And from that time, you have done all you know to do and that pain remains. As I'm praying for you right now, that satanic thing is giving way. In the name of Jesus. Now, whether I mention your case or not, let me have your attention. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. There is a mark of favor I am praying unto God that that mark will rest upon you tonight. That everywhere you go, literally everywhere you go, may there be one man raised by God to help you. One man raised by God to favor you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for any family here that is going through any kind of crisis whatsoever. I speak to you, shalom, peace be still. Peace be still. Peace be still. Everything dead or dying in your life. Hear the word of the Lord. Let it come back to life now. In the name of Jesus. Whoever must remember you. In Abuja, in Lagos. Across the north, the east, the south. And outside of this country. Between now and the end of this week. I call upon the, the week that begins now. In the name of Jesus. Let remembrance come.
come to your doorstep. Let remembrance come to your doorstep. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And I decree and declare, any testimony you heard today that you desire, may it be reproduced in your life. For some of you, maybe it's concerning visas and embassy issues. For some of you, perhaps concerning whatever, every testimony you heard today that you sincerely desire with all your heart, let it be reproduced in your life. And anybody who means you evil, their eyes will not see you. I say it again, anybody who means you evil, their eye will not see you. In the name of Jesus, you are delivered from the arrows that fly by day and every plague of darkness. Experience abundance. I pray for your prayer life. The grace to pray like never before. May that grace be released upon you. The grace to study the word with passion and zeal. May that grace rest upon you. Anybody in your life who is a wrong person, who is misleading you, destroying your life, this is the week they finally separate from your destiny. There is sound. Bam. Ceiling. Window looks like it's opening. They are looking for an access point. How can I make this person fear and doubt the faithfulness of God so that I can find expression in his life? You are just hearing like wind is blowing. All of a sudden you imagine somebody has to be near me. And then anger. Have you noticed that every time good things are coming, a good relationship, a brother just comes. Just at the point he's about to propose that week, something dangerous happens. You are at your angriest point. And the brother says, no, I can't marry you. Then you return back. These are the spirits playing on the minds of the saints. Messing up our breakthroughs. The day you are supposed to go for a job interview, you are running, then your car breaks down. Your car didn't have any business breaking down, but it broke down. As soon as you arrive there, they say, sorry, the gate is closed. So you stand there and say, life, not life, spirits. Spirits, my brother, spirits. They are about to pay your father his gratuity. The demons will hook the money until the day they diagnose him of having cancer that will spend 150,000 for chemotherapy and the rest then the money suddenly comes and because you have to use it to spend it and spend it and spend it and spend it how about students that enter the exam hall they thought they went alone you conduct tutorials for others and enter the exam hall as soon as you sit down you look at the paper but I solved this question yesterday night what happened these demons hijack your understanding when you are out of the exams you go back and see the paper in your house that you solved it with sometimes you're on your way to the exam to write your final year exam and you forget one question paper in your pocket you didn't forget you were assisted to leave it there all of a sudden an invigilator comes and said what is that stand up and said no that's it you are going listen to what i'm telling you because god delivered me myself it will be impossible to be doing ministry at this level just talking and saying this i am a product of the deliverance that happens upon mount zion there are people there is no good thing you give them that blesses them give them money it will be the reason for their trouble Help them, give them favor, they will cause trouble. Our loved ones may be like that. For many years, the church has been deceived and misled into thinking everything is just normal. Into thinking, oh, everything is fine. I am okay. Just because we have some little money, we allow the devil fool us into believing that we are all right. The devil can allow you to continue being a preacher, keep winning. Uh, the, the loss keep healing the sick while he hijacks your mind and continues to do what he's doing at age 12 you see your son already reproducing you and you are saying my god what is this brothers and sisters i tell you the truth by the authority of the word of god 
I know that I'll be criticized by many people for these teachings but let me tell you this I was called into the office of an apostle listen I share with you a mystery that will help you to possess your inheritance I will not lie to you and sit you down and allow the devil tear your life into pieces let this deliverance be perfected in you you will you will be shocked at the things that will happen you're already hearing testimonies job will become child's play everything will become child's play barrenness stories there are many of us who would have been in ministry by now the call of God is upon you you know the call of God is upon you but these spirits won't let you rest they are all around you they will make sure that every helper God brings to your life you do something to them that drives them against you that's why some of us don't have friends it's not like you are bad the moment a friend comes to your life wonderful person oh I, I, I love you I want to help you the spirits will make something happen you will betray the person you will lie against the person you will do something stupid that will kill your opportunity and all of a sudden they will leave you but tonight brothers and sisters the devil is a liar I don't know if there's someone here who is tired who is saying enough is enough I can't let this happen if you are free your loved ones are not free so in any case there is something for you to do hi, 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 hi. yet taught you next the next time we meet when we now start talking of deliverance we are going to look at the deliverance ministry of Jesus just Jesus leave Paul leave this just Jesus and we are going to see what Jesus did with this spirit and you will see that Jesus said this kind go it not there is a kind you don't just generically tell demons go no there are different spirits the way you drive a fallen angel from influencing a life is not the same way you cast out a demon now the fallen angels may be illegal occupants but the demons are legal occupants they came by birth the women gave their wombs freely so they are not just wrong no they have a right This kind goeth not. This kind goeth not. This kind goeth not. Listen, I shared with you during the prayer and fasting, remember, that there is a physical atmospheric temperature that drives demons by itself. Not, um, there, is a, there is a physical, there are places on earth that demons cannot stay. There's no preacher there. The environment itself drives them. It's in, your, it's, in your, it's in your Bible. That when a demon leaves a man, it goes through where? Dry regions. Dry regions. Hoping it will find something dry. That it, and, and not finding any. It's uncomfortable and it comes back. Who casted it from that place? Nobody preached to it. It left that place and preferred to come and fight you than to remain in the wilderness. Listen, witchcraft was a proposition that these spirits brought to men. Men are not so smart to know that you, you should kill somebody. There are wicked people from where we come from that will exchange the life even of their children for themselves. Have you seen old people who don't die? Every time they are sick, you hear that someone is dead and then they, they are alive. All of a sudden, they become fine. No, sir. Read in the Bible, a king who slew his son to keep his own life. Ah, uh -uh. 
nobody will bring a knife to my neck to keep it ah we are going to pray it's just going to be praying in tongues now i want you to find a corner my brother my sister take your life serious in the next five minutes instrumentalists just charge the atmosphere for us blast in tongues and refuse upon mount zion and it shall come to pass in that day and it shall come to pass in that day in that day in that day that the burden shall be taken from off your shoulder and the yoke from off your neck and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing please pray pray please pray if you are tired hold the hands of somebody that can agree with you Pray for your destiny. Pray. Enough is enough, oh God. The victory of Christ, the work of Jesus on the cross, cannot be in vain. The substitutionary sacrifice of the Son of the living God cannot be in vain. Pray, pray, pray. Salama katamana lamas. Emprata katos shabaratos. Emprata katos. That burden shall be taken from off my shoulder. That yoke from off my neck. Enough is enough. In the name of Jesus. Shabata kata. Shabata kata. Shabatos kabarota shenevetas. Emprekete Pray, Koinonia. Pray for your family. Pray for your wife. Pray for your husband. Pray for your children. Arise, oh God. This is Bethel. This is Bethel. This is Bethel. Arise, O God of Bethel. Pray. Pray. Shabbat Shabbat. Lekatos Kabaratos. It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. It's time to break grounds in the spirit. It's time for the anointing of your destiny to come. It's time for the ministry to open. It's time for your finances to come. It's time for prophecy to find expression. Hello, him Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. This prayer is a serious prayer. As we pray, sisters, I want you to lay your hands on your womb 
as we are praying, brothers just pray in tongues. I'd like you to declare that no seed of any entity that is not of God will find, I will not give birth to any stranger. No. Pray. No matter the ordinances of the fathers, no matter the enchantments of the ancient, I come by a new order and I declare my womb will produce that seed of the woman that will bruise the head of the serpent. I cause five broil. I cause five broil. Cause every devil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Brothers, I'd like you to pray. The spirit that keeps men in one place. You don't move forward. You don't move backward. You stay. No productivity. Every gentleman here, open your mouth and blast in tongues. Father in the heavens, this is better. Shabbata katoskata. The yokes, the altars, and everything that time my life, that time my destiny, by the mystery of deliverance, I challenge. I challenge. It is upon Mount Zion. The spirits that cause failure. Hallelujah. Listen. Demons came into being when the spirit assisted men. So your victory comes into being when the spirit assists you. It says, I am the God of Bethel. I have seen the oppression that Laban has done. The victory will not just happen. Forget about the physical things in the realm of the spirit. You are going to cry for divine assistance. I provoke the ministry of angels over every affair of my life. Lift your voice and pray. Cry. Are they not ministering spirits? Are they not ministering spirits? My brothers and sisters, are they not ministering spirits? Send to minister for them that be the heirs of salvation. I call for assistance from heaven. Oh God of Jeshurun, the helper of men, the lifter of men, the helper of men, the lifter of men, the deliverer. Shakatos Kataba. Angels on assignment. Angels on assignment. Angels on assignment. Angels on assignment. Judging the wicked. Delivering the prophecy of God concerning my life. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Every attribute of the flesh that gives access 
to any spirit in my life by the mystery of the blood I declare that that door is closed forever lift your voice and pray come on lift your voice and pray still pray I tell you I feel fire in this place listen everything God has shown you either as a revelation from his word or as a revelation from the realm of the spirit you are going to declare Jacob did not just see the spotted calves and left them in the realm of the spirit they had to come and interact the word must become flesh I like you to lift your voice and cry Jacob's Katabata. Every anointing, every mantle, every mandate, every dimension, the prophetic, the apostolic, prosperity, increase, speed, deliverance that God has shown me. Lord, you showed me victory. I declare, I declare, I declare it must find expression. going to pray listen carefully whether you are an usher or not please if anyone is under the anointing or manifesting around you just help them are we together the very serious prayer we're going to pray now you are going to pray that if by any means there is any spirit entity in my life or around me it's time for you to come out it's time for you to go listen as you pray this prayer many strange things will start happening to you don't worry about it you just focus on this prayer and pray with all your heart and watch what happens say in the name of Jesus say it in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ that any spirit entity finding expression in my mind in my body around my life hear the word of the Lord I cast you out of my life now lift your voice and pray pray fire is falling pray fire is falling Shabbatakata I cast every spirit, I cast every devil, I cast every spirit by the power of the Holy Ghost. My mind, my body, around my life, around Koinonia, in the name of Jesus, around my family. Shamakatos Kadabash. married also pray for your family 
pray for your children. I cast every devil. In the name of Jesus, there's no place for you in my mind. There's no place for you in my life. I come against ordinances. healing fibroid now the Lord is ministering to me a mighty deliverance is going to happen now it's starting with ladies any spirit entity that comes in the form of a man and attempts to oppress you in the night right now in the name of Jesus Christ let the fire from heaven fall right now and command I command that spirit to go help them right now any spirit entity using the face of anyone to molest you and close doors inside outside I command deliverance now I command deliverance now let the daughters of Jacob possess their possession in the name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah. I'm hearing in my spirit uncontrolled anger. It's a spirit. It's living people right now. Uncontrolled anger. It's, a, it's an unusual anger. Rage. It comes, you can tear anything and you can do anything. I'm seeing fire in the name of Jesus. Anyone who is a victim of this operation. Right now in the name of Jesus, I bring you deliverance. I bring you deliverance by the power of the Holy Ghost. Uncontrolled anger. I come against it now. Please help her. I'm seeing a vision. And the Lord is asking me to pray on that case. In this vision, I'm seeing someone dream. That's what I'm seeing now. And in that dream, you keep seeing yourself going back either to your old house or to a primary school or writing an exam you are finished. It's a strong spirit of delay. I stand by this apostolic and prophetic grace. Help your wife. Right now in the name of Jesus. At the count of three, the spirit of delay. Hear the word of the Lord. Let God's people go now. One, two, three. I command that spirit. Go now. Go now. 
please help them. Go now. This one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind. No devil should take you back again. I command that spirit, go now. I cast that spirit now. If there is anyone you know, whether you are here or anyone you know, that for some reason has not been able to take in, in the name of barrenness, whether you are here or you are standing for them, I want you to agree, I want to pray. Let's see the devil that will stop them from taking it. In the name of Jesus, anyone you know and you are standing for, that the devil, I don't care what the medical report is, that the devil has come to make sure that they will not celebrate children. In the name that is above all names, we release children from heaven. In the name of Jesus, we release children from heaven. We open every barren womb. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a group of people. You see, you have dreams frequently. And in the dreams, you see yourself receiving things. And it's something that in the physical you are hoping to receive. But the moment you see it in that dream, it will never happen again. It's an irony. It's like the opposite of what you see in dreams is what happens. The Lord is asking me to deliver those people now. Please help her. Help her. Just stand near your wife so that she doesn't have to fall. Right now in the name of Jesus. Shakatos. Emprantas kanasone hashamariakata. Shakras kotevakatosavarekata. Eko shamama sanadakata. Reketekete. In the name that is above all names, I decree and declare from the realm of the spirit, let there be deliverance for you now. Let there be deliverance for you now. Just two more points and we're done. Look at me. If you have seen this pattern I'm about to describe in your family, then I want you to listen carefully. It's always that the future is worse than the past. You never have a situation where you leave certain things and go higher and higher. You look at all your loved ones. They once walked. They once married. They once had children. They once had a house. You are in a situation where the future is never brighter than the past. It's always once upon a time this was happening. I need to crush that devil from your life. Please help them. Once upon a time I was rich. Once upon a time I was married. Once upon a time, I was on fire for God. Once upon a time, I was a pastor. I had a church. No, the path of the just is as a shining light that shineth ever brighter unto the perfect day. When your tomorrow becomes worse than your yesterday, there is a spirit reversing the equation. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. In the name that is above all names, I declare that any force from hell that is responsible for aborting a glorious tomorrow to take the events of the past and still bring it into your tomorrow right now at the count of three I declare that spirit must let you go one two three let them go now let them go now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah. Please just be patient with me. We'll end now. My spirit is heavy. Circles of repeated sicknesses. I want to pray now. 
is not a normal thing. Whether it is hepatitis, whether it is a blood-related disease, or whether it is every month malaria, every month malaria, every month typhoid, you treat it, it still comes back. Every month headache, every month whatever it is. Hold on, please. The Lord is showing me something. I just saw like a pile of money and then I saw it disappear. And the Lord said there are people, money physically disappears, like lives their life. I'm not saying you waste it. You can keep 10,000 and come back and find 7,000 and nobody was in that house. It's not just money, items. You can wash clothes and hang it. You, you didn't steal it. You will come back, you will not find it. Listen. Well, this is a, a deliverance series. Just allow me to help that lady. I'm seeing a lady in a vision now. You were alone. You washed your underwear in the night. By the next day, you didn't find two of them again. It's gone. From that day, something happened in your life in a strange way. Severe menstrual pain is one of the things you started having. Uncontrollable pain. In the name of Jesus, everything the devil has taken from anyone, I decree and declare by the anointing of the Spirit, let there be restoration now. Let there be restoration now. Let there be restoration now. The Lord is showing me someone. Every time you see someone die in the dream, a few weeks later it will happen physically. Now you have seen your loved ones. You saw them last week. You saw like a, somebody was announcing to you that I don't know if it's your mother or something that died. If we don't pray for you, it's going to happen. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare, Oh death, where is thy sting? Oh grave, where is thy victory? I prophesy right now upon your life. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I command that death to pass over your family. I command that death to pass over your family. Hallelujah. Just, just let me just talk about two issues. I'm struggling to share what God is showing me now. This has to do with a group of ladies. Listen. There is a lady here. Every time you see yourself in a dream, you are a man, not a woman. That's why I'm struggling to share what I'm saying. Physically, you are a lady, but every time you see yourself in a dream, it's like you are carrying the form of a man. This thing has affected you even in the area of relationship. If a guy looks at you and says, I love you, it's like it's like um it's it's like you feel as if you are gay. It's it's like something has numbed the capacity to receive love as a lady because of that encounter, it's a demonic thing that I have to pray for you for a very demonic thing I'm seeing like smoke this is strange and then it is it's just like moving around in the air wherever those groups of people are I don't believe it's just one person it's an operation of darkness in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands right now and I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost be free from that demonic siege now be free from that demonic siege now. Ah, hold on. There is a lady, a physical person appeared to you, not a dream. I'm not talking of your dreaming. Physically, physical, like you are seeing me like this. 
appear to you and was having a conversation with you appeared to you and was having a conversation with you and from that conversation your life was never the same again it looked like it was a woman that was appearing and talking to you like revealing to you some secrets that had to do with the past and from that day you started hearing voices even in the afternoon you can sit down and hear like people are discussing I need to pray for you if I don't pray for you very soon they will admit you in the hospital because they'll say you are talking and behaving like somebody who has a psychosomatic condition wherever that person is in the name of Jesus I may not call you out because of time but I declare right now by the anointing of the Holy Spirit that devil that spirit in the name of Jesus be free from it now I was going to pray for repeated cycles of sickness let that be the last let's pray if you know in this place that you find out that certain sicknesses never leave you they keep repeating cycles just place your hand on your chest I'm about to pray it doesn't matter what part of your body and what sickness you just place your hand on your chest I'm going to pray someone will shout under the anointing when that happens the anointing for this healing is not a sickness it's a pattern that God is breaking now the moment that shout happens I will rebuke that and then we are done for the night we will continue the miracle service I will talk about it shortly thank you Jesus just lay your hands there the power of God is looking for one person there's somebody that will shout that's the shout right now in the name of Jesus by the anointing of the Holy Spirit every pattern of reoccurring infirmity reoccurring sickness whether it's a blood related disease every pattern I say it again of reoccurring sickness reoccurring disease right now by the power of the Holy Ghost I command the spirit responsible lose your hold now 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 hallelujah in this series I gave you an instruction our time is gone I want to give you another one now please listen very carefully I told us we have been doing it I know a number of you may not have been so faithful just try to be consistent do it out of revelation at least 15 minutes in the night wake up and pray pray in the spirit declare the victory of Christ just forget about whatever dream or whatever experience you're having just do what I'm asking you to do are we together now the next meeting we're going to be having here is a miracle service listen I'm taking our time our miracle service will not be on Friday listen carefully our miracle service will be on Monday are you getting what I'm saying now not this Friday not this Saturday not this Sunday on Monday please listen on Friday you are going to fast on Saturday everybody you are going to fast are we together at least if you cannot do to six minimum at least to 12 and that I believe it should even be our little children any adult here should at least be able to reach 12 or 2 you will not die so Friday you are fasting Saturday you are fasting are we together Sunday you are fasting I want you to come on Monday the miracle service we are going to start by praying for the sick so that we'll finish that it's going to be a night of intense deliverance it please intense anybody you truly love even if it's your loved ones no matter where they are if they can find their way please come medical reports bring it all these threat letters whatever just bring it and let's cry to the God of heaven 
to arise and work wonders here the plague of death you can collect as many people's prayer requests even if they cannot come just collect it we are going to take at least 30 minutes to just agree and pray in tongues and charge the atmosphere when we come are we together is a prayer is a prophetic is a strong deliverance meeting i just the lord put that in my heart so please listen i'm saying in this media please take note including those outside friday you are fasting just break on your own you don't have to come here or if you have your little friends you can just meet and pray and sleep be very spiritual it's not when you should go to somebody's house and you are disturbing them it's, it's a week of spiritual emphasis we are trusting god to push through that that jericho that dagon must fall once and for all friday you are fasting please don't let food cheat you 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 don't die if you don't eat for a few hours saturday you are fasting sunday you are agreeing you are fasting monday you can eat and do whatever i like you to come here prayerfully and come here spiritual from the opening prayer to the praise and worship participate with all your heart are we together by the grace of god will make it the miracle service but I, I will i will see the possibility if because of time we cannot make it both a communion and anointing service then i'll be patient the week that follows as we round up the series then we'll do it but we must combine it it must be a communion service and then an anointing service when i'll be teaching you now the forces of deliverance and the rest but this miracle service on monday i believe with all my heart for god to have given this message he's going to do something strange so it's not friday it's not saturday it's not sunday it's on monday but you fast on friday fast on saturday if you have loved ones those are connecting it doesn't matter what nation of the world if they care to follow they can follow in fasting and prayer are we together now let me give you the instructions on how to pray am i boring you am i wasting your time on friday because we have to pray with intelligence some of these anyhow prayers we do is what wastes our fasting we just fast and fast and pray and talk to ourselves and we don't get anything from it are we together if you can write please write and and please write and do it on friday your entire prayer for that friday is the mercy of god write it that's all that's all you are praying throughout friday by the grace of god just follow me i'm giving you an instruction in righteousness this is not religion the only prayer look for scriptures that talk about the mercies of god you are praying the mercy of god on your life on your family please just try to follow this instruction just just do as i'm teaching you by god's grace i will not mislead you from all through your prayer you are invoking the mercy of god his mercies are new every morning lord your mercy upon my life lord your mercy upon my past lord your mercy upon my family i cry and i receive your mercy upon my ministry don't go and stop saying oh god the other day you said you were going to give me tea and bread no just leave all that one friday the mercy of god are we together saturday is intense warfare intense warfare you are going to take out time to pray and challenge the gates write down a list of all the things that constitute a challenge in your life whether it is delay whether it is whatever write it down you are going to you are going to pray warfare there are many koinonia messages that you can get that relates to that you can play along if you want and pray intense warfare that means that as much as possible aside from a few things that you maybe like school of ministry that will be having lectures if you don't have anything doing please discipline yourself this carelessness sometimes is why the devil prevails over us find somewhere beg your friend to give you access to his room or one corner go to one forest somewhere just stay somewhere and pray your life out pray against patterns and everything you have seen lord this is what has happened but i'm standing by the power of the holy spirit so friday you are invoking the mercy of god 
Num uh, Saturday you are dealing with patterns and you are dealing with all of this. On Sunday, all you are doing is thanksgiving. That's all you are doing. You are thanking him for everything, for his mercies. You can thank him and praise him in a dance. You can thank him and pray, just play worship, praise him, whatever you have to do. And then on Monday, come with your heart. Write that Egyptian that has followed you and carry them and bring them here with you. And let the God of Bethel arise for us on Monday. So Friday, we are praying the mercy of God. Don't forget. Go and do the assignment yourself. Scriptures, look for scriptures. Go on, on, on Google and all of that. Use different references saturday is warfare saturday is not praise and worship saturday is not thanksgiving saturday you are engaging you are engaging the victory of christ mention situations one by one and take time to pray are we together and then sunday spend time singing dancing celebrating and thanking god and then on monday we're back please for our online community media make sure you remind us on Thursday or Friday, remind us on what to do. Let's know you can put a, a, a media montage or whatever it is. You can add scriptures that can help us. I could give you a few scriptures so that you guide us. You can follow on Facebook and Twitter. We'll be um, keeping you updated. We'll be posting and all of that. Ask your loved ones. I know some will say, get out. All these things I'm not doing. Don't fight them. Just leave them. But as many... They may not be able to make it on this ground, but wherever they are around the world, ask them to connect and also follow. And you watch what God will do. I'm leading you through the same way God led me to be free. Exactly the instruction God gave me and the things I did is what I'm introducing you to. By the time I do the last series of the teaching, you will know why I give some of these instructions. Are we together? Father, we give you all the praise tonight. You are God and there is none like you. We submit to your wisdom. We submit to your grace. And Lord, I know that you have not called the seed of Jacob to seek you in vain. You have enlightened our minds tonight. And Lord, I thank you because even by your spirit, there will be a performance in our lives. Lord, even from tonight, let your people begin to enjoy strange breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, this is a week of deliverance. I pray that you end age-long captivities once and for all from our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. I want to give someone an opportunity here to give his life or her life to Jesus Christ. You are here. You heard me preach. You heard the word of God come expressly. And you are saying, man of God, I need to make my ways right. Please don't be distracted. I know we're rounding up. Let's not distract those who want to give their life to Jesus. You are at overflow three, overflow two, overflow one, the main auditorium and those connected online. You are saying, apostle, that nature that needs to be replaced, that miracle has not happened to me. Or you are saying, Apostle, I love Jesus, but at one point or the other, things have gone haywire in my life, and I need to make my ways right. Please, wherever you are, I don't want you to be ashamed. Please clear the way. Please clear the way. All of you standing at the way, please clear the way. Clear the eyes for them. Wherever you are, you want to make this decision, I want you to boldly get up and come right now, very quickly. Very quickly. If there is anyone, there has to be someone who is saying, Man of God, I'm handing my life to Jesus. If you are outside, please clear the way for them as they come. Don't be ashamed. Make your way to the front right now. Make your way to the front right now. If there's someone coming. Make your way to the front. If you are coming, overflow three. You can just walk to your projector stand. But overflow one, overflow two, and the main auditorium. Make your way to the front. There has to be someone the Spirit of God is speaking to. Let's appreciate them. Don't be ashamed, be bold, rise up, walk, make your way, and come to Jesus. Are there people like that? Clear the way for them outside. Hallelujah. Please clear the way for them. I still believe someone is coming. There has to be someone. 
If you're coming, God bless you. Come quickly, join them. Join them quickly. Those coming from the overflow outside, quickly. Please hurry up. If you're coming, rush quickly. 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 Hallelujah. God bless you. If you're joining them, come quickly. Thank you for this great decision. I want you to lift your right hand high to heaven and say this from the depth of your heart. God bless you, my brother. If you're coming, my dear, come quickly, quickly and join them. Say, Lord Jesus. Say after me passionately, say, Lord Jesus. I love you and I believe in you that you are the son of God. Tonight, I have heard your word and I declare that Jesus is Lord of my life. I declare that from today, I am a child of God. I'm born again. The life of Jesus is at work in me. I declare that the grace to walk in victory is mine now in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for these ones. They have come and they have made this decision for you. Let this decision last, last in your life. Oh, look at this little child, adorable child. Come, my dear. Go to that man. Just go to that man. He will lead you to Christ. That man sitting with a baby, he will help you. Father, thank you. Let this decision be real in their lives. They will never be the same. Forward ever, backward never. Even as you have prayed, I crush every walkings of darkness over your life. And I declare they are gone from your life now and forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you. Exodus chapter 14 and verse 13. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show you today. For the Egyptians that ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. He said, let me read it for you now. And Moses said unto them, not God said unto them, Moses said unto them, the people, fear ye not. He said, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show you when, when, today. He said, for the Egyptians whom you have seen today, he said, ye shall see them again no more forever. Hallelujah. Say after me, in the name of Jesus. Please shout it, say in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that tonight is my night for total deliverance. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice. Oh. Um. 
over everything the devil took away from us. Tonight we are ready to experience the liberating power of your spirit. Our spirit tonight to receive and we decree and we declare in the name of Jesus Christ. May the God of heaven rest upon this place tonight and let there be a mighty, mighty deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. Please be seated. Please be sensitive. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Tonight is the last segment of our deliverance series. Please let's have the anointing oil. Um, just come keep them here in front. Hallelujah. And um, I truly prayed from my heart, trusting the Lord, that something will really, 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 truly happen in somebody's life. Hallelujah. I have seen a life that Satan oppressed. And I have seen a life that God gave victory to. The difference is as clear as night and day. In the name of Jesus Christ. Obadiah chapter 1 and verse 17. Let your spirit be open. Let your spirit be alive. Hallelujah. There's so much noise here. Is it the fan? Please help me technically. You will have to work on this. If it's a fan, please switch it off. Please. I need to be, it's affecting me, please. Hallelujah. Obadiah chapter 1 and verse 17. It says, but upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. It says, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. We've been examining the mystery of deliverance, helping the body of Christ to step into supernatural levels and supernatural dimensions of victory in Christ. It is my personal conviction as a man of God that it is not enough to read your Bible and see the things that the Bible declares should be our inheritance but that we must press through faith and understanding to a point and a realm in the spirit. Are we together? Where we will have access and walk in the experience of these realities. And tonight we must force this thing to work in our lives. In the name of Jesus. Three levels of deliverance. Let's get straight to the business of tonight. Um, the teachings are available, part one, two, and three. So for time's sake, I may not go back doing any recap. Please bear with me. We have a lot to do tonight. And um, we're working to gain time. There are three levels of deliverance that I want to teach you. And in this teaching you're about to hear now is the reason why probably many believers do not gain complete deliverance. Most of the denominations that we have, um, in one way or the other, have engaged something related to deliverance. But the challenge usually is that we pick one of the three. And I've shared with you again and again, as you know, I'm very sympathetic to the body. I'm sent to the body. So every time I talk about the body of Christ, it is not in any way from a standpoint of sarcasm. Are we together? Um, so as I teach you this, I pray that God will open your heart. And if you're a man of God, I'd like you to examine these things very deeply and find out where you probably may be missing it in communicating the power of God to deliver to your congregation. Number one, the first level of deliverance is the casting out of the spirit influences in your life and at the back of your challenges. The first level of deliverance has to do with casting out 
the spirit influences in your life and if not in your life at the back of your challenges behind every challenge is a spirit that sponsors its continuity are we together the first level listen very carefully the first level of deliverance has to do with casting out the spirit influences there are always spirit influences either in our lives or at the back of the situations and circumstances that challenge God in our lives. So the first level of deliverance has to do with casting out the spirit influences. I thought you would want to put maybe two here. influences in our lives and at the back of our challenges. Carefully. I want you to find a way of convincing yourself tonight. At the back of almost every challenge and every destiny pet in one position, every family, every business, every career, every home is a spirit entity. That is sent and assigned to ensure that that process remains that way are we together now we are not in ignorance as to the fact that our world is also full of spirits not just men spirits and that these spirits are also on assignment just like angels and that at the back of people's lives and then at the back of mysteriously um, disturbing situations are spirits sent. Deliverance is not complete when the spirit entity that are behind the situations in people's lives are left there. This is where I think that a lot of people, especially people who value um, education and intellectualism and science to an exaggerated dimension, this is where we miss it. There are people today who will never agree that there are spirit entities manipulating the lives of people. And I find that disturbing because Jesus did not leave us in the dark. As to the fact that, in fact, I'll be showing you shortly that when he proclaimed the messianic prophecy that was upon him. Are we together now? He went out and began to heal and the first set of those he addressed were those who had devils. There were spirits behind them. He met a woman who had been bound for 18 years. And the Bible says, he said, woman, thou art loosed. Before he laid hands to heal her, there was a spirit behind her situation. These are the three doorways that granted it access. Number one, covenants. Number two, ignorance. Number three, disobedience. It is possible that a covenant is broken and the spirit still uses another channel to route your life. You must be aware of all the channels available. Are we together? So number one, the first level of deliverance is casting out the spirit influence in your life and at the back of your challenges. I have ministered deliverance to people again and again and again. And I see this all the time. I see the shock like many of you have experienced sometimes on the faces of the people because they would never otherwise believe that there was a spirit influence a sudden, in a very strange way in less than one week your life just you know although there's a lot of argument among men of God whether or not there is something called deliverance ministry um, um, I, I, I'm not here to create argument, but I believe with all my heart. I believe in the full gospel, and the full gospel captures a dimension of God that is able to deliver. And we know that it is God's system to allocate graces to men. So I believe that it is possible. I believe from the authority of scripture that there is something called a deliverance ministry. It would be foolish to believe in the healing ministry. 
it will be foolish to believe in the evangelical ministry it will be foolish to believe in the ministry of signs and wonders we believe that there are people called to minister prosperity to minister leadership why will we reject that there are people specially anointed to minister deliverance i think it's just because of our resentment deliverance is a very messy ministry it's, it's not a ministry that comes with a lot of organization usually it is presumed that if you are dull and unenlightened uneducated and you don't know what to do with your life you are most likely called into the deliverance ministry and, and it's not so usually people who are posh nice excellent administrative intelligent calculated uh, will usually not receive that dimension of the call and 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 i think it's the way it has been done in nigeria and africa because we have demons shouting talking you know most when you see ministers that minister deliverance usually they are unkept shabby unintelligent they don't process their understanding the churches are, are not well cultured and so over time we have adopted an understanding that the messier you are the more unenlightened you are you are most likely called into that ministry there's, there's no such thing as that but i believe there there should be specific people anointed and sent if we don't believe in deliverance ministry then there shouldn't be a healing ministry no are we together the second level of deliverance and like i said if you believe you are called into the deliverance ministry this may probably be an area you may want to adjust it's called deliverance the deliverance of transformation through the word of god this is the second level of deliverance deliverance of or through transformation many people do not know that this is a dimension of deliverance as valid as casting out a spirit deliverance that comes to a man through engaging that man's mind and understanding in a process that the bible identifies as transformation herein lies the tragedy behind endless deliverances where a spirit is casted out it goes returns casted out goes returns and then sometimes we build a theology now this is the part of deliverance i do not believe that a believer should become a victim of a spirit forever and should have an endless cycle of continual deliverance for life the bible does not show that now we saw that jesus delivered men and they were delivered and delivered completely the apostle paul was delivered are we together the woman with the alabaster box the one who jesus casted out seven devils but you see the thing about jesus's ministry and, and i'm going to show you now i'm going to show you something very powerful the bible says the man in gadara Let, let's go to that let's go to that scripture let's look for it where is that scripture help me mark chapter 5 i think i'm right Give us Mark chapter 5. Say deliverance through transformation. Say it again. Shout it. Deliverance through transformation. Now, this is a very interesting story. The Bible tells us that in the country of the gatherings, Jesus himself, I want to see, um, I want us to read from verse 12 to verse 15 there's something i want to i want to show you there deliverance through transformation now watch this and the devils besought him saying send us into the swine that we may enter into them so spirits now at the back of a man's madness are we together and then and forthwith jesus gave them leave and the unclean spirits went out and entered into swine and the herd ran violently down a steep place into the sea and they were about two thousand can you imagine that and were choked in the sea 14 and they that fed the swine follow me now and told it in the city fled sorry and told it in the city and in the country and they went out to see what that was done 15 sitting and clothed and in his right mind 
Jesus didn't just leave him. He knew that something needed to be done to his mind too. It was not just his spirit that needed to be right. So when Jesus casted that devil, he didn't wave him and say, go. He said, come and join this teaching ministry that will need to transform your mind. And the Bible says they came and met him sitting in his right mind. You can be delivered with a wrong mind. Are you listening to me now? It matters that we must engage this dimension of deliverance. The dimension of reorienting our spiritual understanding. This one comes through the ministry. The teaching ministry of the word is how people experience this dimension of deliverance. And I can tell you sincerely speaking, this dimension of deliverance is very scarce in the church. To teach the word does not mean to declare and to preach. We generally say you are a preacher. A teacher of a word is an explainer. One who brings the saints into a comprehension of the character, the person, and the working knowledge of the word. You have no reason to have weekly gatherings as a man of God if you are not teaching the word. You can be an evangelist and come into a land three days, win the souls, apologize for the sound, and I think there's noise somewhere. I'm sure they're working on it. Are we together now? You can come in as an evangelist. You can come in as a missionary and even stay three months, five months within a city. But if you ever trust God for a church, a ministry, a platform where you meet with people consistently, then it doesn't matter what spiritual office you operate. You must trust God for grace to be a teacher of the word. Otherwise, the saints will never experience this dimension of deliverance. Say deliverance through transformation. This entails reorienting your spiritual understanding. This entails opening you up to the nature, the character, and the systems of the kingdom. When your mind is enlightened, you are open to the nature of God, the character of God. Then the mysteries, the systems, the principles of the kingdom is taught you. When that happens, that door that is a stronghold for demons to act your life is closed and closed once and for all. Let me give you an instance. Let's assume that an individual is suffering from the ministry of, um, let's say there's hardship. Are we together? Now, the spirit, compromise. He likes to talk about increase, so let me use him. Watch this. Let's assume that this gentleman here has all kinds of hardship in his life. Let's even assume his finances. And now I pray for him. Because say by revelation I see that there is a spirit behind that tragedy. Did you know that if I pray for him, he may fall down and stand up. He may even experience an instant testimony. By evening someone will give him maybe a little check or some money. 10,000, 20,000, whatever it is. But this gentleman will not sustainably stay delivered. Until I teach him the kingdom principle allocated for keeping the spirit of poverty at bay forever. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Now, I prayed for him. And through the advantage, listen carefully. There is a prophetic covering over him. And he may enjoy some level of results by the reason of that prophetic speaking over his life. But for sustainable result, to personally keep the spirit of poverty at bay. He must understand the economic system of the kingdom. Failure to do that will only recycle his pain. It's a matter of time. Notice that demon spirits have observed the carelessness of people in the body. Especially men of God. That we are not thorough in creating spiritual enlightenment. So they are not afraid to live. Are we together? So I can look at him before I touch him. Ah, he's manifesting. The spirit goes. And he gets up and he's happy. And I hug him. I say, okay, so go and prosper. It is done. It is not done. I assure you it is not done. Halfway done. That guy, remember the Bible says that spirit will go around and say, I will return to my house. He will come back and find the mental construction of that individual still conducive for his operation. He won't enter alone. He will gather more wicked spirits of poverty, higher than him. And then return to that man. That's why you find out that people receive miracles and breakthroughs. 
and two weeks later it looks like everything just knows dives they refuse to engage in transformation and sometimes it is members that put that pressure on pastors they are not trained to sit down and receive the word we want sharp sharp everything are we together man of god why is my life like this i i have watched with shock how that sometimes people can tell me apostle a b c d is wrong with my life and then i tell them okay listen to the following messages and then come and see me afterwards maybe listen to gaining spiritual stature listen to this and that and they just say thank you and sometimes i can even point and say the media stand is there just go there and they'll give you the teachings they will laugh and do as if they are going to turn and then turn around just greet and say sir just touch my head that's all me i want you see that it's a sign that many of those people may not receive complete deliverance and the danger is that if they don't receive it they will go back and then in their frustration they'll say this man of god may not really be a man of god are we together have you been to the hospital where a doctor will give you an injection now there's that one you take it immediately you turn and receive it right now and then he can now tell you okay there's this drug in addition to that injection take this morning afternoon evening for five days after five days return back and let me look at your condition are we together now if you take that injection you can decide to go back and be careless it's amazing how your health is dependent on those drugs and then you don't take them and after five days you return and say doctor something is wrong and the doctor said no if you did what i told you i already know what should happen so i'm surprised that this is not happening transformation through the word he came and met the man in his right mind remember that the man later became an evangelist and won the decapolis 10 cities because his mind was right the bible says in romans chapter 12 when you read from verse 1 and 2 specifically verse 2 it says um and do not be conformed to this world i've taught you again and again the greek word there is the word aeon the thinking pattern that comes with a dispensation do not be conformed to this world it says but be ye transformed everybody say be ye transformed it's not an advice be ye transformed how by the renewing of your mind transformation renewing your mind is deliverance it is the scriptural way to close the door that authorizes spirit entities to find expression in a person transformation 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 is the way you become spiritual a spiritual man is just it's not just one who prays in tongues a spiritual man is not just one who serves in church listen carefully a spiritual man is not just one who is ordained a spiritual man is not just one who is serving in a department a spiritual man is one who has exalted the word of god listen very carefully and the ways of god above the senses so that man is governed not by his sensory perceptions but by the word of god when the word of god becomes the vista your your plane of looking at life you are a spiritual man you can pray in tongues and ignore the word you are not a spiritual man most times we convince ourselves that just because we find ourselves around dissipating spiritual energy committed in spiritual activities we believe that because we have done that for a long time we are spiritual no that may be religion true spirituality is measured by how much the word of god has not just found expression in your life but has been received and the degree to which you are living by it many people are not spiritual you know it by how they respond to life a little challenge and you see them talking and you are wondering ah, ah, after five years in church ah, I'm, stomach pain. I'm dying everybody do. Ah, no 
the word of God is supposed to become a culture, a way of life. It influences your mind. It influences everything about you. The Bible says to be spiritually minded. It says to be carnally minded is death. Not will make you die. It's already death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. It says set your minds above where Christ is seated. Are we together now? You can set your gates not by looking up. By indoctrinating yourself with the truth of God's word. Such that you are immovable. You are unbendable. That's what it means to be spiritual. When you are transformed and you experience this dimension of deliverance. You now tear down the strongholds that operate in your life through thought patterns. Everybody say thought patterns. Please shout it. Say thought patterns. Check every territory. Where spirits seem to gain grounds. The way those spirits gain grounds is by making sure they create a mind control system. So that the average person within that spiritual climate thinks in a certain way. I'll give you an instance. And please, I don't want you to feel embarrassed or whatever. I am not insulting any territory. But for instance, if you see a territory where there is a high rate of Maybe people getting pregnant without marriage. You find out that it's not just a wicked spirit that is working there. There is also a mindset. Are we together? That a lady of 12 years can be pregnant and the father can say, I'm proud of you. I mean, I can't believe you did this. This is, this is, this is fantastic. Meaning by tithing, you have settled the devourer. Yet you find out that that man's life does not change. Call for... Any kind of meeting that will give financial intelligence, he will look at you and say, no, it's not for us. You can go and uh, if God will bless me, he will bless me. So mindsets. We come from different territories. Some of us come from territories where it is easy for anger to come because revenge is part of the way the culture is built. Don't let anybody take you for granted. An eye for an eye. If somebody touches you, give it back to him sevenfold. As a sign that you are not weak. So in such cultures, if you don't revenge, you are, you are tainted as being weak. So now you are born again. And a brother offends you and there is that itch to revenge. And what a joy. A spirit has found a platform. And the spirit of anger comes. And before you know it, you wind your hand and give your wife a slap. And suddenly remember that you, you, you are supposed to have crucified the old man at the cross. Are we together? Listen, let me tell you, you know you are transformed when it takes a long time to trace you to a culture. Let me say it again. You know you are transformed. Aside from the physiological, the physiological features that can show that, okay, you are Yoruba, you are Hausa, you are Igbo, you are South-South and all of that. Aside from that, there should be such a level of, of an excellent approach to life based on the word of God. That if it is based on your communication, I should find a hard time knowing whether you are Yoruba or Hausa or Igbo. It's a sign that the word of God has superimposed your culture and your cultural limitation. Sadly, I can look at people and almost in a heartbeat just say, you are from here. Yes, you are from here. Yes. The way you are behaving, it looks like you are from Plateau State. Say yes, sir. Say, huh? They are all like that. The way you are, it looks like Kaduna Abi. You look to me like you are, are you from Delta? I'm from Delta. How did you know? How do I know? Am I, am I mad? That's not a very, that's not an applause. Are we together? Because it's a sign that although you claim to be in Christ, experientially, you are still holding on to the strongholds and the mindsets. Are we together? That your transformation will so shock those around you. They looked at the disciples and they wondered, ah, are this not, what, what suddenly happened to you? They were so changed. One time they wanted to go back to this, their life of war again. They said, Jesus, should we command fire? And Jesus turned and said, do you not know of what spirit? You have suddenly forgotten that you are from heaven. Transformed. Someone will look at you and say, I know you are going to deal with him. I trust people from your place. Abba. This guy is in for a shock. And all of a sudden, you reach out to someone in love and hug the person. And you look and you say, this is strange. You say, this is not strange. I have been called out of every tribe, of every tongue. Listen to me. 
of every nation. Are we together? Yes. This is the basis. Let me tell you the truth. And I want to say something now that is, is a bit sensitive, but listen to me. I think that this is the reason why many people, especially our loved ones, fear certain individuals traveling or marrying or living across certain regions because they fear that based on the default experience, are we together now? There can be a problem there and they are right except for transformation. They are right. Are we together? So someone says, oh, I want to get married to someone from the north and the mother looks and says, is this, what, is this how you want to repay me? After, after all I've done to you, this is, this is, and then you now say, ah, the man is, is, is even, is, that's why a small church has started a work. I say, hey, he's even a man of God. It may not be your father or your mother or your relative's fault. They have observed through time that goodness. If someone within those regions accept the call, you accept the call and accept the stronghold that comes with that call too and suffer and almost, you know, but then they are amazed when they see that there is an excellent mind. Hallelujah. An excellent mind that vetoes your background. Say I've been called. Say it. Say I've been called. Out of my tribe. Out of my tongue. Out of my locality. I come from heaven. I only pass through my geographic territory. If you don't understand this, then we are wasting our time this night. Because when we begin to pray, we are going to tell Satan, it is true that you oppress people from Plateau State, but I'm not from there. You see that? It is true that you oppress people who are Yoruba people. It is true that you oppress Igbo people. But I only pass through there. My origin. My origin. So you don't tell me, oh, this land was dedicated to this. You may be right. But ah, I've been called. Something called me out of that tribe and tongue. Let me tell you. The fact that whatever is in your territory is still affecting you is proof that it still recognizes your cultural loyalty. Like if you are a football fan, let's assume you are a faithful football fan of, uh, give me one club side. Let me not create trouble now. Arsenal. And you are so faithful that they have your number. Even when you say I hate them, you can still get a text from them. There's a meeting tomorrow. It's a sign that they still recognize your loyalty, your fellowship. It's amazing how we keep saying we are not tied to these things and when the spiritual text is sent, you get it. <laughs> the devil says you can talk all your nonsense. As far as I'm concerned, I'm sending a general text of failure to anybody in this family and you are shocked that it reaches you. I say, no, my phone, you shouldn't receive this. That's your business. Your number was in the database. Transformation. Transformation 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 to rush to God receive instant deliverance and run away from God is only implicating yourself the Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower listen he said the righteous run it to it it is a he runs in and then runs out and is saved he runs into it and stays there he that dwells not he that visits he that dwells listen is the reason why many of our loved ones never receive breakthrough. They hate the house of God. So when they hear that there is a special program, they say, well, since you insist, let me visit. And they come and experience the power of God. And then they tell them, be planted in the house of God. Mm, all this church thing, thing, I'm not, I'm not in it. Please. Then they go back. And then they find out that it's a matter of time. This spirit's coming. Let me tell you, if you are a pastor, this is one of the reasons why you should trust God to have crowds come. It's not numbers. It's that you are giving God an opportunity to transform more minds. It's not all about just trying to look for a name. Oh, overflows here. Yeah, we are this. I notice that there are men of God who so, I, I, maybe sometimes well-meaning insult crowds and insult pastors with large membership and make it look like it's not all about crowd. My brother, for God so love how many? That sounds like a crowd to me. He didn't say for God so loved Jerusalem. He didn't say for God so loved Nazareth. 
for God so loved Judea. No. It is God's will that all men be saved. And then the Bible tells us that part of our ministry is to disciple nations. Have you heard that word? To disciple nations. To disciple nations. Come from the word discipline. To keep them in a position where they learn. To teach them the matters of the kingdom. You must receive an appetite for the word of God. You must receive an appetite. Members must learn the value of sitting with the word. To be mentored and to be trained. I have great respect for churches where the average member already knows the usefulness of sitting down to learn. Martha, Martha, you are worried and upset about many things. One thing is needful and that Mary has chosen to sit at the master's feet. It takes time to produce results so that your mind is changed, transformed. Are we together? So deliverance through transformation and transformation by the renewing of your mind. The word of God being the principal channel for your transformation. Are you willing to submit yourself to be transformed against culture, against the, the nominal mindsets, the mainstream mindset that comes? Because let me tell you, you become more like Christ when you think like him. That I'll forever be changed in love you. I'll be chasing after you. Not just for two days, not just for one week. That I'll forever be changed in love you. chasing after you pant after his word and pant after his presence day and night chapter 1 and verse 8 Joshua the formula that God recommended for success he says this book of the law so the foundation of a believers possessing his possession this book of the law shall not depart from out of thy mouth he says but thou shalt meditate therein day and night how long day and night say it after me day and night that thou mayest observe to do all that is written therein then and only then shall you make your ways prosperous who will make his way prosperous he says and then you will have good success this is God advising a man number three so that we move to the next level the third level of deliverance and this is the final level is called the discipline of conformity write it down the discipline of conformity this is where you actively participate and this is where a lot of dear brothers and sisters around the world miss it the discipline of conformity as a level of deliverance hmm. Romans chapter 8 and verse 13 and then we we'll look at Galatians chapter 6 verse 8 Romans 8 13 one to read is projected one to read let's start again for if ye live after the flesh, I told you what the flesh is. A way of living. A way of thinking. Are we together? It says ye shall what? But if ye through the spirit. So you will mortify. But an agency will empower you. You are in grace but the doing is you. I told you that grace has dimensions. Not all dimensions of grace work automatically. There is saving grace. You don't do anything. You just receive. There is grace that empowers you to do. You participate. The disciplinary dimension is your responsibility. If you through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body. What will happen to you? Please talk to me. You shall live. 
Galatians chapter 6 and verse 8. Whatever you ask of me, I surrender. Whatever you ask of me, whatever you ask of me, I surrender. I mean bribery like corruption, political party. Corruption means death. In one word, death. But he that soweth to the spirit, a man can sow to the flesh, a man can sow to the spirit. Both are soils, and the Bible guarantees that the harvest is waiting for you. When you walk in bitterness, you are sowing. Oh, dear farmers, listen to me. You walk in bitterness, you are sowing. I'm born again. But what is this guy trying to show me? And you are sowing. And the Bible says a harvest will come. You don't, you don't walk with your wife. You are fighting your wife. You are sowing to the flesh. The harvest is that your heavens will be closed. The Bible said so. You are born again. You are anointed. But for being unwise in treating your wife. You pay the price with a closed heaven. That tight open. And then your disobedience shuts the heavens again. So a tightening wife Peter. Is plus one. Minus one. What's the answer? Whatever you ask of me, I surrender. One of the ways to sow to the flesh is to think that God is an expert in inconveniencing and rubbishing your life. You know, many believers believe that when you hand over your life to God, it's a call to stupidity, especially our generation. What is this you and church? Come, darling. What is you? You're a, you a fine lady. You're a wonderful lady. I mean, there's a, a rich man somewhere. What is this church thing? You're turning your head. Don't mind this stupid apostle around. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. A man can sow to the flesh, and I promise you, whether you stop, whether you scatter the soil, it will still grow because they are all fertile soils. Could it be? That many people, although the demons were casted, the discipline of conformity, discipline, the spirit of God will empower you, but you must see the value of waking up in the night to pray as a principle that helps you confirm. Are we together? Don't sit down there and say, Lord, the grace is not there, it's raining. This night is so cold and you just stretch. You are not serious. You have to speak, you have to create your reality. Someone can meet you and say, My dear. You are a very beautiful lady. There is a bar around. God has granted you the grace. You use your mouth and say no. You can say, well, let's see how things go. You have sown to the flesh. There is a harvest coming. When you get tipsy and a truck jams you, that's the harvest. When you snuff Dramadol and you lie down by the bridge and Mopol comes to carry you, and they jail you for five years. What that's called harvest. Say harvest. Shout it. Say harvest. It doesn't matter how it came. Listen. This is not being under the law. Get the point. This is not being under the law. God is not a fool. He works with us physically. If God tells me to bless you. Watch this now. If God tells me to give you. 10,000. If I say come and collect, why do you come? Why do you get up and come and stretch your hand and say thank you? You are participating. It took discipline for that to happen. Are we together? Let me tell you this. God can speak and say, Pastor Alpha, you will be a mighty man. If you don't have the discipline of constraining yourself to conform to that word, you will keep seeing yourself raising wheelchairs in your dream till you die. You will never see it. There is nothing in the kingdom that does not require discipline. He said, he that warreth is not, he that strives for mastery, he said, is not crowned except he strives lawfully. There is no gift of fasting. Hello? Have you ever seen it in the Bible? There is no gift of, whoever lied to you that fasting, your stomach will not, you will hear all kinds of noise while you are praying. 
you have to choose between the noise and your destiny is the discipline of conformity lord if i stop fasting now and this grace goes down what of the people that will be blessed no i receive grace i will pray you think those who get up in the night and pray and those who fast just a, a supernatural wind just blew somewhere no sir I'm sorry to say this, but our generation is a very indisciplined generation. That's why we don't become successful. We don't take anything serious, not just God, even our destinies. Are we together? You start a business, you open your shop by 12, you close it by 4 at will. You may have a bottle of olive oil in that shop. I guarantee you, you will still fail. Because there is no discipline. Father, if it be thy will, take this cup off me, but mm, nevertheless, nevertheless, it is within my power. I have the power to lay it down. I have the power to take it up. I have the power to keep quiet. I have the power to speak. When they talk against you, you have the power to keep quiet so that God will now arise and fight. Let's not throw everything to God and just make a fool out of our lives. You have the power to be disciplined. God has anointed you to be a good worship minister. You need to be disciplined to wake up in the night to pray and receive songs. And write and edit and receive songs. As a man of God, you are called, you need to be disciplined. To sit down and take notes and research materials. Do you know, let me tell you sincerely, Jordan is here and he will tell you, do you know how many books I read just for this, this series? You won't believe it. I listened to more than 11 to 15 ministries. Different perspectives. Not because I don't know anything about it. Why will you read so many books just for a series? Everybody say discipline. Please shout it. I know you don't like it. Say discipline. Nothing just happens like that. This is where many of us miss it. There is a dimension of deliverance called the discipline of conformity. You constrain yourself on the strength of what you are looking at. There's too much distraction. You want to be great but anything goes. Oh, someone is marrying somewhere. I need to run and go. Yet God is calling you a man of God. You have a conference in two days. You are there, one naming ceremony there. You are there again to cut, uh, to, to, to one of, you are, you are just moving up and down. And then you wonder why the power of God does not come. Discipline. There are times I am so tired, humanly speaking, let me tell you. Sometimes you see it. I can be so tired the last two weeks I've been ministering every day back to back. You think if I have, if I have my way, what do you think I, I want to be doing now? Just find somewhere, somewhere and, and throw away my phone and, and shut my ears and sleep. It's called discipline. Yes, there is grace. But let me assure you, if you are not disciplined, you are abusing the grace of God. There are many funny graduates around just waiting and believing that with, with indiscipline and carelessness, they don't pay attention to conform to the terms of success. Insult anybody and believe they will prosper. My father is this, no respect for authority, no respect for anything. The discipline of conformity. Philippians chapter 3, we'll read from verse 12 to 15. Philippians chapter 3. Not as though I had already attained. This is Paul. Either were already perfect. The word perfect there is the word mature. But I follow after that if I may apprehend that for which I am also apprehended of Christ Jesus. 13. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended. One of the sponsors of indiscipline is an arrival mentality. The moment you believe you have arrived, the deception of little results, the deception of little success. 
one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and doing what? Reaching forth unto those things that are before me. 14. I, the first two words, please speak to me. I, remember this was the guy that taught us the Pauline epistles. I press. I press. Have you read that place that the Bible says to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling? I press towards the mark. I press. I press towards the prophetic word. It is true that God has told me you are a deliverer in this family and the grace has come. That grace will make sure I must be on fire. So I press. I wake up in the night. Shaka patakata. Lord, the mantle for the deliverance of this family is in my hands. While they are sleeping, they can sleep, but I press. Let every other name fade away. Let every other thing fade away. Ah. Let every other thing fade away. Listen. Listen. It will take you engaging prophecy through discipline. Otherwise, it will never come to pass. The ministry you have seen in the spirit, no matter how many demons are casted out of you, if you don't cooperate with the spirit to com to conform, you will never have it. You can sit down and see yourself building, building an estate. I saw an estate and I saw a spirit behind the estate. Apostle Joshua Selman can say in the name of Jesus, that spirit go. The spirit has gone. But you do not sustain the discipline to sit down. That discipline may mean upgrading your mind. That discipline may mean you sitting and speaking every day. That discipline may mean you telling certain friends, look, I'm in a new season. I love you. I know we're from the same background, but honestly, I must leave you now. Discipline, I can tell you this from experience. You will never do business with God if you ignore discipline. I think. Don't just think, no, you have a right to do whatever you want to do. It takes discipline. To sit down and count the money and say in the name of Jesus. I know that I, I have what it takes to complete this nice shirt. But in the name of Jesus, I choose to say no. I love my tomorrow more than my yesterday. I love my tomorrow more than today. Spirit of the living God, I will, I will, I will walk with you. I discipline myself. It's better to be hungry today than to eat tomorrow's food today. Are we together? The next time you admire someone with a mighty hand of God, let me tell you, among the many parts of the equation, don't just say he's lucky. There is discipline. I say this with all humility and not to brag. When I stand here by 7, I leave here by 12, almost every Friday. It takes discipline. Do I have to do it? If I say I'm not seeing anybody, nobody's going to even say, Apostle, you have tried. I come and stand here and I go back home and it's not sleep that I'll sleep. Sometimes by five, I have to be up to catch a flight. Say discipline. Don't just say, Kai, God is increasing these people. Discipline. It takes discipline to see God's money and leave it there. Really rest upon your shoulder. I remember a few years ago, we went to a particular hotel, very nice hotel, went for a ministration. And I was preparing for the meeting. The hotel had swimming pools, had a lot of things. And these were wonderful people. I mean, when these guys saw this swimming pool, they were happy. They just went, they were swimming, they were playing table tennis. I was just watching them from my And I laughed. The luxury. But somebody is coming three hours later crying and say, Lord, will you change my destiny? And I swim away that person's miracle. <laughs> there is a time to swim. Now is not the time. Don't get me wrong. There is a time to swim. Are we together? Discipline. There are times that I go to minister somewhere 
and they prepare a very serious honorarium and God says don't collect it bless the people say discipline it takes discipline to obey lay your hands on your head and say Lord take in discipline out of my life forever pray Shabakato Sadabalakata discipline of conformity the grace to take my destiny seriously the grace to take my assignment seriously the grace to take the destinies of others seriously that through discipline I can cast out devils from my life discipline in waking up early discipline in studies discipline this one thing I do forgetting the things that are behind I press by faith as a sign that I believe my future hallelujah listen please sit down thank you if these three levels of deliverance doesn't happen to you, forget about possessing your possession. The spirit may be casted out, but your mindset will allow it to stay. Do you know, for someone, you don't have any spirit in you, but this is the access point. For others, just discipline. God told you, that there is something you have to read in a book you bought that book since january till today and the spirit of god is waiting for you and you're saying lord you've not brought your word to pass and god said no 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 no. i answered you since january the indiscipline to sit down i will go to jordan's bookstore tomorrow uh, jordan is this book around it will arrive next week you don't follow up all successful people whether in the secular or in this even those who drink and smoke they are disciplined Forget all that acting they do. They are very disciplined. Disciplined with money. There are people like that. God has casted the devourer but indisciplined. You collect a salary of 30,000. You carry your friends immediately to a restaurant and blow up 20,000 and wonder why the spirit of poverty still remains. Discipline. As a student, you are wearing a uniform of 10,000. 20,000 and all your parents give you in a month is 5,000. Say indiscipline. That's right. Indiscipline. I don't cook. You are a student. I don't, it's not, I'm, I'm, it's not my thing. This, this, our pride is what, in Africa especially, is why these spirits never let us go. What of our parents? The discipline of getting, oh, sir, um, God is going to touch you but can you be disciplined and just wait um, I'm not mm, I, I can't do that I can't I, I, you want life to bless you at your own terms that's a joke who for the joy that was set before him what did he do endured endurance takes discipline have you seen people in a gym someone in a gym trying to work out have you seen people laughing in a gym? Except if they are producing videos for you to buy. But if, if they are in a gym, meaning be carrying all those things, look at the world heavyweight. Their faces become ugly, and yet they are determined. While he's doing that, he's seen the trophy already. You need to see something that gives you the strength to not be distracted. And we... We'll never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. Hallelujah. You see a pattern in your family where all the women marry terrible and unserious men watch this now now it is true that you have been delivered that spirit was casted out are we together please hold on and then god now helps you to think well and then god says wait until my will comes what does he tell you 
wait until my will comes but in discipline your body is itching all of a sudden one irresponsible guy just appears from nowhere and says um uh, you know how things are don't keep waiting like this and you stand and god is telling you the choice is yours do you know if you get up you know the man is smoking you know he's drinking he says i don't smoke all the time once in a while I say okay i can make do with that remember you are making a choice through indiscipline and god is watching but i'm supposed to deliver you i'm i'm bringing you out i'm using you as a specimen and you say god i can't wait again please i can't wait if if by march or by by august this guy whoever shows up the devil said what did you say fine whoever shows up, out the spirits and then you renew your mind by the power of God's word and then you obtain grace the grace that supplies the staying power many are the devices in a man's heart he said but the counsel of the Lord that alone shall stand there is a way that cement right unto a man it takes discipline to stay God, do not let us go from here. We, we, we know what Egypt. Uh -uh. Do not let us go from here. If your presence will not go with us, we are not going. And I'm sure they remain there. And God said, these guys are serious. So. Please be careful. We have, we have lost respect for the discipline of waiting till God speaks. Gone are the days where people can beat their chest and say, I know God spoke today now people over intellectualize everything and we keep crashing and making nonsense out of our destiny you must cry for grace lord if i would die here let me die waiting for you and god said you are doing this for me you can put your ego on the line for me i will arise for you Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Fill this temple with your presence. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Yeah. Fill this temple with your presence. We wait on you. tonight and the Lord told me that once I got to this topic just this experiencing complete deliverance there will be very mighty angelic activities John chapter 19 please let's hurry up from verse 28 to 32 or to 30 let's stop at 30 experiencing complete deliverance this is good news that means it is possible that a man, Jesus himself, how many of you know that his words are powerful? Jesus said, no matter what happens, there is a potential in the kingdom that a man can be completely free. He that the son of man sets free is free indeed. Apostle, this is good news. You mean after 100 years of captivity in my family, there is a way out. That there is a way out that I can say it is finished. 
Finally, the chain of barrenness. Finally, the chain of poverty. Finally, that people don't rise in this family. That there is a cause and a yoke. That a time can come in a believer's life. Where like Jesus you say, it is finished. Complete deliverance. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The cause can go. Yes, sir. The barrenness can go. The failure, the retrogression. I saw my father go down. I saw my mother go down. So there is a way out in Christ. Jesus, the son of the living God, said it is finished. He opened a new and a living way. A pathway that a man can obtain complete deliverance. Not up today and down tomorrow. Hallelujah. Be sensitive. Sit down. We are not, we are not praying yet. That's why we kept the oil here. Because the oil too is hearing the sermon. I want to show you a mystery. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. It is this revelation that makes deliverance a mystery. From part one to three to four. This is where we are coming to now. Listen and pay attention. And let me tell you. I want to show you how I was delivered. Get ready for my. I want to show you what worked for me. I am a testament of this. I would never be where I am today. Until God himself revealed this. By his spirit. And I want to show you. Complete deliverance. Complete deliverance. I, truly I came with my heart open. I cried to God and I said, Lord, this, this thing has to go. Everybody shout, it is finished. Shout it again, it is finished. This is Jesus speaking. Not Angel Michael. It is finished. So he gave me access that it is possible. Oh, look how healing this is. Ejimi, did you know? Look, some of you here, as I'm talking now, you are just thinking of the mess in your background. That you have been crying and say, Lord, it's just more deliverance I need. Hold on. Some of you here have counseled you. You come from backgrounds where your parents were priests directly. Not that they went to priests. Directly. There are territories here that were dedicated to all kinds of devilish idols. It is finished. I found this years ago. I told you about demons oppressing me. This simple scripture you see. When God shined it in my spirit. I was reading a book really. That's where it came from. But I said Lord I, I, I don't know. But this is what I'm seeing. And then God broke this thing down. That I'm about to show you. Sit down. Sit down. Let's learn. We are going to pray. Experiencing complete deliverance. The first thing I want to talk about quickly and then I will show you the three ways is I want to teach you the legal system of the kingdom very quickly. The realm of the spirit is a legal realm. Please listen carefully. The, the realm of the spirit is a legal realm. Proverbs chapter 26 and verse 2. Mighty God. 26 and verse 2. Read with me. As a bird by wandering. And as the swallow by flying. Uh -huh. So the curse. Causeless. Underline causeless. Shall not come. Meaning if there is no cause for it. It should not have come. If you ever saw any limitation in your life, there is a system of authorization. Because there is a law in the spirit that when a thing does not have a reason to come, it does not come. So the barrenness, the failure, everything has a reason. A curse, causeless, cannot come. If it ever came, something authorized it. There is the legal system of the kingdom redemption as we know was done on legal grounds Jesus did not just come 
the Bible says the soul that sinned it shall die it's a law God himself had to submit to that law are we together it says without the shedding of blood there is no remission of sins so the son of God did not just become a man and came to the world no the Bible says by one man sin entered so it could not take a spirit to save men it had to be a man Jesus had to be a man I want you to see the legalities that the son of God went through are we together Jesus had to be 30 years to start his ministry because in Jewish custom if you were less than 30 you were not considered a man so it wasn't about his spiritual life he had to wait and go through it until he was 30 Jesus could just fall from the sky like Elijah that people say Elijah the Tishbite but Jesus had to grow in a woman's womb and was born and cried and could die and grew from a young baby to a young child teenager adult and all of that he passed through it there is a legal system in the kingdom let me show you something Isaiah 41 verse 20 and 21 the verse of emphasis is 21 Isaiah 41 that they may see and know and consider and understand together that the hand of the Lord has done this and the Holy One of Israel has created it. Read 21 for me. One, two, read. Aha. Uh -huh. This looks to me like a lawyer's language. This is the Lord speaking. Produce your cause. Bring the legal terms. Bring before me. So Abel said, I will produce my cause. And the blood went to heaven and said, God, have you not said whoever destroys man, whoever kills by the, lives by the sword shall die by the sword? I did not live by the sword and now somebody has slain me. My blood was cried and God came and said, Cain, your brother's blood is crying. And he said, am I my brother's keeper? I said, don't talk that nonsense. Blood is crying. The legal system of the kingdom. God, as kind as he is, is teaching us how to make him bless us. And he said, when you pray, ask me to give you this day our daily bread. Otherwise, you will never eat it. This is God. Son of man, say to these dry bones, I'm waiting for you. If you don't say it, it may never happen. I, the dry bones did not move at the word of God. It moved at the word of God through the mouth of a man. He says, say to this dry bone, the dry bone, ah, you are now talking. No. Bring forth your strong, how many reasons? Bring forth your strong reasons why you think you should be the first graduate in your family. Bring forth your strong reasons as to why you think that you should not fail in life. Look at me. You saw people went to school and the devil taught them like a lion. Bring forth your strong reason. Why you are the last born in your family and you believe that like Joseph, you are the one who will feed them. Bring forth your strong reason. I, when I saw this years ago, I said, my God, Shalakatokaya. Bring forth your strong reason. Don't just sit down and think it will happen. There is the legal system of the kingdom. The legal system of the kingdom. The legal system of the kingdom. So let me teach you three steps now. Number one. You want to experience complete deliverance. Your first assignment is to break the legal hold of Satan. And all the demonic powers over your life. Or your family. Or your church. Or your destiny. Whatever it is. The first assignment is to break the legal hold of Satan. Break the legal hold. A curse causeless shall not stand. Barrenness causeless shall not come. Failure causeless shall not come. Delay causeless shall not come. If it is there, something is authorizing it. Your first assignment is to break the legal ground. This is where, ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you to the powerful mystery of the blood. 
I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, my precious blood. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood, eternal saving blood. Listen, when you are about to face the gates of darkness as a final onslaught, there is no other weapon that you can carry. The first weapon for true victory is the mystery of the blood. The blood. The blood. The blood. Five scriptures very quickly. Matthew 26 verse 27 to 28. Matthew 26. Matthew 26, 27 to 28. And he took the cup and gave thanks. And he gave it to them saying, drink ye all of it. 28. For this is my blood of the New Testament. The blood is done, is what? Is shed for many. Why? For the remission. Remission. So a system has been initiated in the spirit. Remission. The word remission means to blot out. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 7. Ephesians 1 verse 7. Then we'll look at Colossians 1 14. Read with me please. 1, 2, read. In whom we have redemption. How? So how does redemption happen? Please talk to me. Redemption. Redemption. Through the blood. The forgiveness of sins. It didn't say the forgiveness of your sins. It doesn't matter whether it's your sins. Our fathers have sinned. There is a system. I used to think he said forgiveness of your sin. No. There is a mystery of atonement. Notice for those of you who cast out demons. Sometimes you see those. They just shout and talk. I won't go. Out. No, 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 no. The blood for the forgive. Whatever ill. To see means to miss the mark. Whatever happened around my life, whatever happened around my lineage that authorized darkness, there is a system of atonement. According to the riches of his grace. 1 verse 14, Colossians. Colossians 1 verse 14. Once again, in whom we have redemption through his blood. Even the word I hope you know there is a law in the spirit that when you see the travail in the soul of your offender, your heart will be appeased. Look at this. Come, Sheo. If Sheo steals my handkerchief and they catch him, my satisfaction is in his punishment. Is that true? As they punish him, I now feel appeased. If they don't punish him, I feel bad. So the Bible says he shall see the travail of his soul. Who is the he? Not Jesus. Man in Christ. Because it was at the point of exchange. We offended the father. And according to this law, there is a requisite level of punishment that must have peace the heart of the offender. And Jesus said, instead of you and your father, let me stand in for you. So while they beat him and blood came out, the father watched, took his face away. And then the Bible tells us that he was seeing the travail. That means the yoke and the ordinances that they did. Remember, they murdered missionaries in your village. And ordinarily, until these things happen and they kill everybody based on that, because their blood cries. But then, God in heaven will see those who offended the grandfathers that made the cause to come upon the family in Christ. The travail. And the father says, that's enough. I set you free. It is finished. Redemption through his blood. Even, so there is a kind of redemption called the forgiveness of sins. That your wrongs, your sins, 
if sins are forgiven then the consequences they bring are also forgiven and the authorizations they give is also forgiven are we together Revelation chapter 5. Just follow me closely. Jesus grant us grace tonight. We have to be fast. Revelations 5, 9 and 10. Quickly please. Revelations 5, 9 and 10. And they sung a new song. Saying. Thou art worthy to take the book. And open the seals thereof. Uh -huh. For thou was slain. And has redeemed us. Unto God. How? By your blood. Out of every kindred and every tongue and every and every these are the four realms where causes exist. Look at this. Please go back to verse 9. Out of every kindred, every tongue, every people, every nation, everything was covered. We were redeemed by his blood. I hope you know that God ensured that Satan participated in the death of Jesus. That was the only way that the blood of Jesus could haunt him. When Cain killed Abel, who did Abel's blood haunt? So whoever killed Jesus is the person who the blood of Jesus should haunt. Had they known this, they would not have crucified who are the day? Satan alongside the principalities and powers. Satan, God made sure in his wisdom that they all participated in the death of the son of the living God. And then verse 10, he says, he has made us a kingdom of priests unto our God that we reign on earth. The last scripture, Revelation chapter 12 and verse 10 to 11. Popular scripture. And I heard a loud voice in heaven saying, Now is come salvation and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of the, not the heathen, the accuser of the brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. Next verse. And they, he had been cast down, but to appropriate the benefit of what has happened, they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. They overcame him. They overcame him. They overcame him. They overcame him by the blood of the lamb. Listen, listen. The moment the mercy of God steps in, I've told you this. The moment the mercy of God steps in over an issue, my brother, my sister, listen to me. You know that card they call end of discussion. It truly is end of discussion in the spirit. The moment the blood factor comes in, notice that when the blood was put on the lintel of the people, it had nothing to do with their personal belief in God's deliverance. The moment the angel of death saw blood, even if it was Pharaoh, if Pharaoh's son entered one of those rooms where there was blood, he wouldn't have died. Even if he was cursing God from the room. The same stiff-necked people that cursed God later on were in that room. But because there was a covering of the blood, so every time we engage the blood, many believers don't know how to engage the blood. To engage the blood is not just to shout, I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood alone. Are we together? It looks like it's drizzling or rain or so. Please, if it is, just let the people find a way of stationing them around. We're, we're about to pray, so we'll find a way of making it happen. Are we together now? Everybody say the blood. So the first mystery that brings deliverance is the blood. When I had this revelation, I began to pray. And let me tell you, that was when I found the mystery of Psalm 51. They gave you that scripture. Psalm 51 was something that I forgot about that scripture many years. It was this year that God reminded me again. Psalm 51. Please give it to us. Our time is gone. Let's see how we can 
do justice. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgression too. Let's just run it. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Three, for I acknowledge my transgression and my sin is ever before me. Four, against thee, thee only have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight. Listen, let me tell you. You can carry your family and in covenant stand as you make. This is not just about one man. It can be one business. It can be one family. It can be one church. Many believers will not believe this. That thou mightest be justified when thou speakest and be clear when, when thou judgest. Verse 5. You can read it down, down, down. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me. And you read this scripture and cry the mercy of God. Listen to me. Nineveh was a land that was so depraved. When God sent Jonah, Jonah said, God, I'm not going. He said, I know you. I know you. I want to allow this thing remain so that you will be angry and curse these people. I know that if I talk to them, you are merciful. They will now repent and you will act as if they didn't do anything that warranted punishment. And he ran away. He ran away for a justifiable reason. There was something about God that he knew. The Lord is gracious and compassionate. The Bible says he is slow to anger. So if my father or my mother went to sacrifice a baby and drain the blood to send me to school, and now there is a spirit that stands on legal ground, I can stand before God and knock on the door of mercy and say, Lord, I know that the soul that sins, it shall die. But do men die twice? Is it not appointed one for man to die? And after that, the judgment. And Lord, your son has died. And what judgment? No one condemns you if you are in Christ. And you stand on that legal ground. And God says, done. Done. It may have been 30 years, but done. Lord, I went to a herbalist myself because I was looking for a wife or husband. Lord, I went by myself. I wanted to pass exams. I went to Zaria City. I went and did this and that. Lord, I know that I did all of this. And you stand before him. And then the blood speaks. Every time the father sees the blood, Satan sees judgment. Every time you point the blood. To plead the blood does not mean to chorus it like a charm. To plead the blood means to bring to remembrance. It's not just saying, I plead the blood. To plead the blood is a revelation. Bring to the Father's remembrance the substitutionary work of Christ. And that the blood, the sinless blood of his eternal son that was given in exchange for my deliverance. Mm. That's the first thing I did. And that's the first thing anyone must do. If all you keep doing is in the name of Jesus, I'm free, you're in trouble. Pleading the blood entails a broken and a contrite heart. You see, let me tell you, there is a level of repentance that brings the hand of God to a man. It's not this arrogant, I plead the blood, Lord, just get up and break 250 years yoke of killing people in my, in my village in the name of Jesus. After all, you died. No. A broken there is an attitude that makes the blood effectual. Are we together? The fact that the Bible says we should come boldly does not mean it says we should come arrogantly. Lord, I stand before you and I know that on my own I will never be able to make it. I watch my mother cheat people. I watch my father cheat people. I watch my siblings cheat people. Somebody lost a job because of his wickedness. It is true that as a family we deserve this. But Lord, I stand on behalf of my family. If my people, which are called by my name, although they are called by my name, it is not automatic. They must humble themselves and pray. And seek my face and turn from their evil ways. Then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and heal their land. And I said, Lord, it's a deal. 
And I cried. I would never forget that night. Lord, let your grace and your mercy speak for me. My grandfather served you until he died. Even on his deathbed, he died for Jesus. In your anger, remember mercy. Lord, if you leave me the way I am, I will never make it in life. Lord, can the dead praise you? Let me show you how people touch the heart of God. Lord, if you take my life now and you allow witchcraft kill me, like it killed everybody in my family, can the dead praise you? Lord, if I give birth to children out of witchcraft, you are presenting your strong reasons. Lord, is it not you that has said you are a merciful God? I stand before you without argument. And God arises from heaven. Many believers do not know how to touch the mercy of God. It was the psalmist that would write everything he did on behalf of Israel and say they should make a poem out of it. Let us with a glad soul mind praise the Lord. He said, for his mercies endure. He's ever faithful, he's ever sure. He will even say, Sila, think about it. I didn't go to God with a bold face as a man of God to say, God, let me tell you something. My grandfather was a pastor. I love you. I, 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 I don't drink beer. I stand before you in my self-righteousness. Is that pride that kills people? Someone must go down on his knees and say, Lord, a cause causeless shall not stand. There is a reason why we are failing in this family. There is a reason why doors are not opening in this family. And Lord, I stand before you. Who else will I run to, oh God? Will you let men? See, be like the saints of old. They knew how to talk to God. Lord, will the living, will the dead praise you? If you pay me, if you do this, do you want them to say you brought people out of Egypt but could not take them to the promised land? And the Bible will say God repented. Have you heard that he said, come, let us reason together. That tonight someone can say, God, will the unrighteous and the righteous receive the same reward? What then is the value of your blood? And you would think you are joking and God is listening to you. Lord, is it a crime that I came from the north? Must I fail the failure? Is it a crime that I'm an Igbo man? Must I fail that failure? Is it a crime? I came from a Muslim background. Now I'm born again. It is true that I went to all kinds of Alpha and the rest. But Lord, will I receive the recompense of sinners? Bring before him your strong reason and cry for his mercy. I did that. You appropriate the mercy of God in your life. Number two. In complete deliverance, you cannot downplay the power of words. Write it down. The power of words. Your words are a vital tool in establishing the victory of Christ over your life and situation. Matthew chapter 22. And verse 37. Please, let's hurry up. I already sense fire burning in this place. We'll do this thing very fast and we'll pray. Mm. Matthew chapter 12, verse 37. Jesus said unto him, Matthew 20, chap chapter 12, 12, verse 37. Matthew 12, verse 37. For by thy words, Thou shalt be justified. I will tell you what words. It's not any words. And by thy words, thou shalt be condemned. You know what the words are? Let the redeemed of the Lord do what? Let those who have become benefactors of his blood make that announcement in the realm of the spirit that Satan you heard my conversation with the king of glory. And it is unto him I have sinned. And he has decided to show me mercy. Therefore I decree and declare. That in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare that I am free from all of these chains. The Bible says declare ye. It looks simple. We make declarations without appropriating the blood and the mercy of God. When it has to do with deliverance. The blood opens the door. And then your words 
you sound that word to principalities and powers words there's a reason why there was an echo it is finished jesus didn't have to say it he said it for a reason and the curtain of the temple was torn from top to bottom there is a new and living way that we can step in i remember the lord asking me to speak and say son begin to speak and denounce yourself from every walk of darkness and i began to pray i've obtained mercy i blot myself out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against me in the name of the lord jesus i obtained forgiveness i've been called out of every tongue i thought it was a joke until my life began to change in a remarkable way words are powerful for with the heart you believe and if you believe the blood speaks for you, then with the mouth, confession will be made. You don't keep quiet. The redeemed of the Lord speak. The righteousness that is of faith speaks. And then number three, complete deliverance. The ministry of the anointing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The anointing. Luke chapter 4, 17 to 21. Let's look at how Jesus announced his deliverance ministry, the messianic prophecy. And there was delivered to him the book of prophet Isaiah. And when he opened the book, he found the place where it was written, 18. Please, let's hurry up. The spirit of the Lord. He's about to deliver now. And he's showing us. So before anything. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he had helped me. Anointed me. To preach the gospel to the poor. He had sent me to preach the. the to heal the broken hearted. He had anointed me to preach deliverance to the captives. He has anointed me. To recover sight to the blind. He had anointed me to set at liberty them that are bruised. 19. He had anointed me to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. 20. We are reading to 21. And he closed the book. And he gave it again to the minister and sat down. And the eyes of all that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. 21. And he began to say unto them this day when talk to me this day say this day that means from today don't be surprised when you see people free is what he was telling them he said i just read it meaning if you see demons flying it's because an anointing is upon me and today that ministry starts this is what jesus was telling them he opened the book and showed them he said, I'm showing you from the book. So you are not surprised when you see a woman bound for 18 years, all of a sudden free. This day, I have come as a fulfillment of that scripture. Today, somebody's this day. Because the book has been opened, it is this day. The day the book is opened, that's your this day. The spirit of the Lord. Because he had anointed me. Anointed me. Isaiah 10 27. Isaiah 10 27. This day, this day, this day. And it shall come to pass when. Notice that everything happens in a day. It shall come to pass in that day. What day? The day your faith chooses. That day. The Bible says, if you if you hear his voice this day. There remaineth a rest for the people of God. That his burden shall be taken away. Somebody will come and carry it away. That means it never will belong to you again. Notice two things that will be taken. A burden and a yoke. And the Bible says, and his yoke from off thy neck. It says, and the yoke. Mashana katos kabarakatosh. The yoke shall be destroyed not because you are tired of it because of the anointing there is an exact anointing that breaks yoke it didn't say because of an anointing 
there is a particular anointing. Now, let me tell you this. Not every anointed man can deliver you. This is what I want you to get. There is the anointing, an exact kind of anointing. Just because a man of God prayed for you, I'm telling you this, believe me. There is an anointing specifically ordained by God. The same way there is an anointing that prospers. The same way there is an anointing that heals. There is a dimension of the anointing that is allocated for detonating yokes. Like a bomb that is supposed to scatter somebody that was put by a wicked man somewhere. And you come and do something to it. And then it becomes like toy. Like a piece of paper. How do you know you are delivered? Strange results. Instant results. Instant open doors. Let me tell you. Deliverance is one of the things that happen instantly. My life changed like day and night. If I did ministry without this encounter, I would have been in for a rude shock. I found it. That there was a burden on my neck. There was a yoke. A burden on my shoulder and a yoke from my neck. I remember going to my village and passing around and seeing well-meaning people. Poor people. I saw how hard-working my father was. Very honest man. One of the most honest people I know in my life. Yet doors refuse to open. This man will rise up like this and crash as if God does not exist. They were the ones who trained us in the way of the Lord. I never saw my father carry one bottle of alcohol. Not once. My mother served God. She was so innocent. She didn't know anything about witchcraft. It was Nigerian film that made my mother know that there was something like witchcraft. She was that innocent. Yet nothing changed. But when I engage the blood and I make decrees and this anointing fell from heaven. Are we together now? You see why I said they should keep these bottles here? It's not just because of a ritual. Let me tell you. Except God did not send me. When this oil touches your head, many of you will step into instant visions. Instant visions. Listen. You will, you will see things. All of a sudden, you will start seeing things that had happened before. And God will tell you this is where it started. The same way you go to bed. Hold it for me. Remember while you were doing your prayers, some of you kept seeing yourself. You were seeing where your problem started from. Secondary school, going back, seeing a lot of things. Look at the attack that happened. Some of you, all through while you prayed, you never saw anything good. Night after night, because Satan is a master of the flesh realm. I told you to just continue and don't mind him. The yoke shall be destroyed. I remember that anointing oil when I bought it that night. I left it open in the presence of God. I played Benihin worship from night, from, from morning till night. Soaking everything through my rechargeable. And when I did that thing, I was shaking like a leaf. I knew. There was like a physical mist in my room. And all of a sudden, I carried that oil. When that oil touched my head, that was it. I didn't even know where I was again. Alone in that room. I woke up many hours with strange visions. From that encounter, the revelations of ministry, I started writing like a madman. All of a sudden, doors. See, let me tell you. Do you know that everything that you have prayed for was answered but hijacked? By the time this door is open, it's an avalanche. Things would... Look, let me tell you the truth. I'm not joking. You will see people within a short time. A lady that nobody has a business of saying, I want to marry you. The Bible says, 
that how many people will come to you i know he was speaking about men but all of a sudden a brother that was ordained to be your husband but these wicked spirits will blind and make sure that they don't see you by the time this yoke is taken that brother goes to bed this night and god says what are you waiting for your wife has been before you for 10 years the helper of your destiny standing and watching you like this but there had been a decree never help him and you find out you will bring a friend two of you will come to plead for assistance they will help the friend and leave you there are some of you here with the kind of anointing god gave you you should never be small but you are even wondering why i never call for people to come and they come something drives them it was bishop Oyedeko who was saying when living faith church started as anointed as he was and he is their heavens were closed and they were fasting and praying and the spirit of the lord told him come out and he came out and he looked and according to him he said he saw something that looked like a dark a thick layer of dark cloud and the lord told him this is the blindfolding layer that the devil put in the eyes of people to misrepresent what you are doing and then he told him to command it and he declared that a light shines in darkness and the darkness cannot comprehend it and he said the the, the thing just folded like that and he produced a poster with testimonies and wrote come and see that was it living faith took another dimension till tomorrow when i caught this revelation that was when i saw that publicity was spiritual at the point i said it people thought it was a joke i don't mean to brag i'm not saying posters are wrong you go around this city you are not going to find one poster but we will shift a meeting just by a simple announcement shift it and people will come you try that and tell people shift it, and people say ah that's it i found a reason there is an anointing when the yoke breaker comes and sits and his weight rests upon your life i'm telling you anything that is not him must give way are you ready to pray now rise up on your feet oh oh Jesus please pray in the name of Jesus I declare that tonight is my night I declare that everything that Jesus Christ did for me on the cross it must be appropriated in my life tonight therefore I declare that every yoke, every spell, every curse, every ordinance speaking against me and against my loved ones, tonight I command that you are leaving me. Open your mouth and pray. Take it, 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 take it,
Listen. This is what will happen. I'm going to pray on this oil. Please listen to the instruction, everyone. Those online, just get a bottle of oil so that while I'm praying, you can connect. If you are with your family members, get a bottle of oil. Even if they are sleeping, just touch their head. Please make sure everybody is touched by this oil. Are we together? If you have faith and you think you will not be embarrassed, you can even, the little oil that is in your hand, you can just place it on your stomach. Ladies, prophetically, you are touching your children unborn to say no devil, no devil. John was filled with the Holy Ghost from his mother's womb. Are we together? Praise the Lord. By the time, by the time this oil, we are going to be fast. Now, because of the way it is, um, we are going to station, I believe, are there tables around outside? Or if there are not tables, at least there, there, are, there are people who will stand. Now, this is what you will do. Please, we are going to coordinate. It's going to be very fast. There might be people falling under the anointing. We'll just help them. Please manage, help the usher so we don't injure anybody. Now, what I want you to do for me, please, just obey instructions. By the time we bless this oil, just a little of it, touch it on your head. If you have a little one, you can touch it on their head and then go back to your seat and start blasting in tongues till we are done. Don't pray anything in understanding. Are we together? Just go back to your seat. Under the anointing or not, just find somewhere and pray in the spirit. And by the time I'm done, I'm going to lead us into some serious spiritual prayers and speak over our lives. And then you will go to bed. And let's watch the God of heaven surprise you. Are we together? Please, anything that can spoil, carry it out of the way. Please, let's be fast. Father, in the name of Jesus, you anointed me. And Lord, it is time for your people to rise. This is ordinary oil. But in the name that is above all names, the Lord is asking me to put my hands in all the oils. In the name of Jesus Christ, I put my hands prophetically upon every one of this oil. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, let it be an extension of the grace that comes with this office. In the name of Jesus Christ, I place my hand upon this oil. Father, we have had many anointing services in this place. But in the name that is above all names, I command this anointing oil to carry the yoke-breaking anointing. Let it carry the anointing for strange and total deliverance. Whoever must die as a result of this prayer as this oil comes upon your head except God did not send me a sword of judgment will search for them and bring them to the grave if there is any physical agent that has held your destiny and said for as long as I'm alive you will not move people of God I stand before you and I tell you by the message of the grace that I've received God will not only take away that destiny their life will pay for it in the name of Jesus Christ please cover them strategically father in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare right now by the power of the Holy Spirit everyone under the sound of my voice Lord as they come under the influence of this oil I decree and declare that let the fire from heaven not only fall upon their life but turn every situation that must be changed around in the name of Jesus for those online I pray for the various oils you are carrying in the name of Jesus as you anoint yourself and your loved ones let the embargo of darkness no matter how long it has been let it break now and forever in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you please let's have people let's have them come quickly quickly you can start coming um, just coordinate them I, I honestly don't know how we're going to do it but we'll have to find a way yes you can find a way of even if it's for you to come and 
you can start from here and then you come and go or do whatever it is please very very quickly make sure you are praying in the spirit hallelujah praise the lord now listen listen I want you to pair yourselves into two very quickly. Just find someone. Find a neighbor somewhere. In the next, our time is gone, but in the next three minutes, all I want you to do holding the hands of that person is to just blast in the spirit. Just pray in the spirit. Go ahead and pray. Just go ahead and pray. Jesus, lay your hands on your head. Fire is burning in this place. Say in the name of Jesus, I declare in this season, may the glory of the Lord that is upon my head begin to speak now. Open your mouth and pray. Thou, O Lord, are a shield you are my glory you are the lifter the lifter a man's head can be lifted shake it take up to barakatos shabaratoka sadabakata I declare the glory of the Lord upon my head be lifted Hallelujah. He has broken the gates of brass and cut. Say in the name of Jesus. Every chain holding my life, tying my destiny. Say it again. Every chain holding my life, tying my destiny by the power of the Holy Ghost be broken now. Lift your voice and pray. Every chain, every chain, every chain. Halakato shabakata, rakata sate kato shekete, rekete kete nekete kete bosh. Say in the name of Jesus. 
say it again in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree. I speak to the forces of creation. Hear my voice. Align yourself and cause the word of God to walk in my life. Lift your voice and pray. We speak to the elements of creation and the stars fought for the border. And the stars fought for the border. And the sun and the moon fought for Joshua. And the earth fought for the woman. We command the elements of creation. Align yourself. Say in the name of Jesus. O oh, earth, you are the seat of abundance. Say it again. O oh, earth, you are the seat of abundance. It is out of you that trees grow. Therefore I declare, according to the law of seed time and harvest, let my harvest locate me now. Lift your voice and pray. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield her increase. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands towards me. said I am the Lord thy God that teacheth thee to profit and leadeth thee in the way that you should go just do what I'm asking you to do in the name of Jesus I declare that these hands that are stretched right now become the hands of fire In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please put your hand on your belly. Just put that hand there. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Put your hands there. The Bible says, For out of your belly shall flow rivers. Say in the name of Jesus. Every treasure within me, as I lay my hands, I declare come out now lift your voice and pray every treasure hallelujah Hallelujah. We are going to round up. Don't mind all the prophetic acts we are doing. I want you to just trust my leadership in helping you get results. Are we together? Are we together? I'd like you to stand where you are and say in the name of Jesus, I prophesy to the north. Say it, I prophesy to the north. I prophesy to the south. I prophesy to the east. I prophesy to the west. Everywhere my help has been ordained to come from. In the name of Jesus, I call you. Locate me now. Lift your voice and pray. It comes from God, but it passes through men. Send help, oh God.
Send help, oh God. Send help, oh God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Just place your hand again on your head. Now, you are finished praying. Let me pray now. Any spirit that comes with ancestry, any spirit, hear my voice. You are a product of ancestry, sent and programmed for the, from the fathers to oppress the people of God right now by fire. I declare by fire. I declare by fire. Release their glory now. I declare by fire. Shobakatos katarikato. Embre tekasopakatadiakata. Every legal ground. I break it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. The spirits of delay that sit upon people's destinies so they don't move forward right now in the name of Jesus may the power of the Holy Ghost through this oil you have made contact with command those devils to live now the spirits of barrenness not just biological barrenness that makes that nothing works in your life you study you go and write exams you fail you get money you do business you fail you get a job they fire you in the name of jesus i command by the power of the holy spirit may that devil live your life now and forever Ladies, I'm praying for you now. There is a spirit that draws only married men or wicked, ungodly men to certain sisters. They don't know why. No responsible person comes to you. Shashakatos katabara. Ke protas katabata. Right now, in the name of Jesus, if there is anyone under the sound of my voice who is in this category, I command that devil come out of them now. Come out of them now. Come out of them now. Any spirit husband, any spirit wife, any demonic entity manipulating you in the night, coming to oppress you, in the name of Jesus, I declare now, be released in the name of Jesus. Be released in the name of Jesus. Be released in the name of Jesus. There's anyone here, I say it again. You always have dreams. Seeing yourself in your former house. Seeing yourself in your secondary school. Seeing yourself repeating something you have already done. Shakos kapakatosha. Embre ketas katabarakatosha. Kebroto sosopekediakata. Right now, I shift you. Speed to your life. I cause the spirit of delay. Speed to your life. I cause the spirit of delay. Speed to your life. I'm praying for people here. Every year, or every two, two years, or every three, three years, the same pattern repeats in your family. Either someone dies, or someone loses their job, or something happens. Right now, the yoke that creates patterns, I stand in the name of Jesus, and I break it from your life. I break it from your life. By the blood of Jesus, I break it from your life. The 
moment something good is about to enter your hand you go to bed and you have a dream something strange happens and you lose that thing it must find a way of leaving you i pray for you now in the name of jesus everything that makes sure that you see things but never handle them i cost that spirit from your life now i cost that spirit from your life now i cost that spirit from your life now hallelujah I want to pray for you now whatever pattern you saw in your parents and you are seeing it now in your life it could be poverty it could be hardship it could be failure Jesus declared that it is finished by the blood of the eternal covenant he declared that it is finished therefore I stand right now I separate you from any pattern in your life that is tied to your lineage In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I pray for students. The moment you enter the exam hall, something happens to you that you cannot explain. I pray for you. May the fire of the Spirit separate you from failure forever. Separate you from failure forever separate you from failure forever be patient with me you will thank me for this prayer I'm praying this is what I did for myself we're rounding up Listen, there are people here, it's not delay that you face, but what can be done in two weeks, it will take you almost one year. So it's like you are crawling to achieve things in life. Right now in the name of Jesus, the spirit responsible for that wickedness, I command it to live your life now. Hallelujah. There are people here, you have never had one month in good health. It's a pattern you saw. You can treat malaria non-stop for three years. You can treat headache non-stop for four years. You can treat all kinds of infirmity. That one is no longer sickness. Pay attention, I'm praying for you. It's a pattern. You saw your father live on drugs forever. Your mother live on drugs forever. Now is happening to you. Shakos kabata Right now, in the name of Jesus, may the power of God set you free from that pattern now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I want to pray. Please just be patient with me. There are many other things we would not do once I'm done. My conscience, I won't be able to sleep tonight if I don't finish what I'm doing to you. Now, whether you believe in the prayer, put, put down your hands. Whether you believe in the prayer I'm about to pray or not, just be patient with me. Are we together? This is an intense deliverance session. Just pay attention. As you grow in the spirit, I pray that one day you will understand. There's no time to explain everything to you. But I want you to just listen to me and watch what the Holy Spirit does. There are three that bear witness in the earth. The spirit, the water, and the blood. These are the same three elements of covenants. The spirit, the water, and the blood. I'm praying now. If there is anyone connected by witchcraft, spirit entities, dedicated to your life and you were attached with them knowingly or unknowingly
He is called the father of spirits. Therefore, I decree and declare every spirit connected to you. Lose them right now and let them go. Lose them right now and let them go. I'm still praying for you. Listen to my prayer. The water is a very strange mystery. Every water on earth is older than every man. It's the same water the saints drank that we still drink. There is no water that comes from anywhere. It's a cycle that repeats itself. And the Bible says this thing you see is a witness. It's a witness. Therefore I declare in the name of Jesus there are spirits that operate in this domain and let me tell you something truth be told this is only false when it is relative to the power of God the strongest operation in the demonic kingdom are marine spirits listen to me very carefully many ignorant people have no idea of what I'm saying 80% 8 out of every 10 people are tied by this mystery of the spirits that operate in water. When the spirits that were casted out of the man in Gadara left, they, were, they drove the swine right into water. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Just lift your hands and be silent and let me pray. Especially for those of you that live around River Rhine areas. After today, don't worry, you can believe anything you want to believe. But right now I stand. Shakoto Sataka. Rekete Kato Shabariata. I declare every marine power holding down anyone's destiny in the name that is above all names. In this night of deliverance, by the fire of the Holy Spirit, let them go now. Any dedications that have to do with marine powers, I release you from it now. 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 strong spirits they can tie a man's life tie a man's destiny forever they can keep a woman barren for eternity are we together we're rounding up If there is anyone here who has been dedicated to any idol, you know that you saw things happen in your family. They brought one man or woman of God somewhere or one herbalist and tied your destiny to objects, made incisions in your body, gave you things to eat and drink in the name of protection. Leketos kapra kato katena kato la hasiata rakatos kebata. I command that covenant and I declare that it is null and void in the name of Jesus. It is null and void in the name of Jesus. It is null and void in the name of Jesus. Drop your hands, brothers. Please lift your hands. When a man does not find his destiny early, when a man does not get established early, he said it is good that a man bear his yoke in his youth. There are many men, I, I need to pray for you. You don't know the mystery behind your life moving, but you are not moving. You love God, but nothing works. You are celebrating birthday after birthday birthday after birthday you are 40 years still in your father's house every time you want to move out of your parents house something happens and ties you down 
there are even people who are married but are forced to still live with their parents the bible says therefore shall a man leave his father and leave his mother this is a very serious prayer i'm declaring right now every gentleman here the powers that held your father down that he could not do much in his lifetime that has held people within your locality territorially geographically in the name of jesus every gentleman here i release you go and prosper i release you go and prosper i release you go and prosper and in case your father or your mother or anybody cursed you and they are now dead i stand here by this office in the name of Jesus, I reverse that course over your life now. Maybe as a result of your past, you did something for your loved ones and in anger, they made a pronouncement. Don't say it doesn't matter. I stand in the name of Jesus by the ministry of God's mercy and grace. I speak over your life for every cause that has been pronounced upon your life I release the blessing of the Lord 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 I want to speak over everyone's finances here in the name that is above all names see let me tell you this if you lack financial resources, your life will never move forward. No matter how well-meaning you are. It takes financial resources to do ministry, to do business, to take care of. These are little children here, you see. There are many things. It takes finances to take care of your parents. It takes finances to get a blessing from them. You will need to do something. They will not just bless you like that. He said, make me venison that my heart will rejoice that I will speak a blessing over you. I decree and declare, whatever has closed the doors. And don't think just because you are getting a salary or you are getting something, you will not receive the prayer. Expand your capacity. I pray for you. Whatever has closed the door of financial resources to make sure you perpetually beg, I cast that spirit from your life forever. I cast that spirit from your life forever. Let me pray the last prayer. You love God, but every time you are at a height spiritually, something just happens to you in a way you don't know. It may be a dream. It may be something. And the next thing you open your Bible, you don't even know where to read again. You just close it. You go to pray and you stand in Jesus' name two minutes. You are not sleeping and you are not busy. But once you can sit down on your phone and before you know it, three hours has gone. But you get up to pray. I will pray later on. Eight o'clock, I will pray. It's a spirit attacking your destiny because you only prosper as your soul prospers. Therefore, fire upon your altar. Receive it now. Fire upon your altar, receive it now. Fire upon your altar, receive it now. Fire upon your altar, receive it now. I'm praying. There are spirits that manipulate your vision and manipulate your dreams. Is supposed to be an avenue that God will show you things. But of late you found out that everything you have seen and told people got you in trouble. Is a sign that something has been hijacked. There is a gift. There is an anointing right now. I purify the workings of the spirit in your life. Let the spirit of error leave your spiritual experience now. Receive grace to see correctly. Receive grace to hear accurately.
finally every family that is represented here whether they are born again or not the fact that you are here standing representing them in the name of Jesus tonight we pronounce judgment hear me upon every man woman altar and every yoke programmed against your family they perish tonight every shrine every harpalist every priest they perish tonight Father, we give you the praise. Declare in one minute, I am free. Wave your hands and give Jesus thanks. It's finished. Finally. Finally. I can arise again. Listen. When I did what I just led you to, I remember... I went that night and I slept and I began to see strange things. My destiny just opened up from page to page. New levels of the anointing came. New levels of fire. Let me tell you, I want you to sit tight and watch the excellency of light over darkness in the days that follow. This deliverance session will make you respect God in a way you have never done. Believe me when I tell you this. You watch out for the testimonies. You will see open. I'm not talking of testimonies. Tea came, bread came. Testimonies that in one day, the rewards of one year can come to a man. Because the yoke has been broken. Jesus will give you the praise. Father, we declare tonight your people have paid the price to stay this late to see to it that the doors of their destiny is open. Father, I stretch my hands as your priest and I seal this deliverance session in the name of Jesus. Hear me. What you have been delivered from now, you will never be delivered from it again. The door that has been opened for you now. You will never pray for this door to be opened again. The chain that has been broken over your life. You will never have to pray for that chain to be broken again. The grace to enjoy the full benefit experientially of the victory of Christ in your life. I release that grace now. In the name of Jesus. Please give Jesus a hand clap. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Please keep standing. Our time is gone. This is your first time worshiping with us here at Koinonia. Hold on, please. If this is your first time, I know that our time is gone. Thank you so much for your cooperation. I don't want to end this service without acknowledging you. What a time in his presence. Wherever you are, aside from those at Overflow 3, please, I'd like you to make your way right inside here. Just stand before me and let me speak a blessing over your life. God bless you. Let's honor them as they come out. God bless you. God bless you. Koinonia, is this how you honor people? Hallelujah. By the way, let me challenge you. I like you when you go back tonight, no matter how late, receive grace from God to seal your prayer with prophetic pronouncements. 
I started over you, but you can take, even if it's 10 minutes or 15 minutes, just seal this prayer with prophetic announcements and call into your life everything you want to see. God bless you. Please let them all come. Let's appreciate them as they come. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I, I love and appreciate and honor every single one of you. This is Koinonia, a meeting put together by Eternity Network International. And I'm honored to have you around. Thank you for the sacrifice of coming around to round off our deliverance series with us. It's been a special series on deliverance. And we're trusting God for a great time. We want to pray for you. I want you to stretch your hands over them, saints of God, not you. The people of God are praying for you. Let's stretch our hands towards them and bless them. Koinonia, bless them from your heart. You are anointed. We decree and declare over your life every challenge that stands before you, even as we have prayed. It will surprise you the way things will change and turn around. I declare that every anointing and every grace that must step into your life in this season, I declare that that anointing comes upon you. In the name Thank of you Jesus. for liking this message. Thank you for watching this message. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. We love you. We celebrate you. Please share our content with others. Share our content with your follower, your fellow. Um, what do I want to say now? Share our content with your friend, with your family, with your loved ones. Share it with your enemies. Share our content anywhere. Believers Global TV to the whole world. Let's gather and preach the gospel of Christ through the power of media. See you in our next video. Don't forget to share the love of Christ with others and share the love of Christ with your friends, with your family, with your enemies, with your loved ones, with anybody at all, anybody human being at all. Share the love of Christ with them. And as you do so, the Lord will bless you. The Lord will, the Lord will keep you. The Lord will make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. And uh, what do I want to say again? Follow us on all of our social media platforms, on Facebook at Believers Global TV, on uh, Instagram at Believers Global TV, on the TikTok at Believers Global TV, on YouTube at Believers Global TV. See you, see you, see you later. Bye.